where we'll uh, have the national anthem. Uh, I'm Padraig Whitty and I'm joined today on co-commentary by Nicky Murphy. Hi lads, how are you? How is things? Conditions are good anyway, Padraig. It's a nice fine day. Yeah, there's can certainly be no complaints. The pitch is in great condition. Um, and there are two teams that like to play football, so we should be in store for an excellent game. Yeah, hopefully so. We've seen a couple of the games earlier on in the year and uh, there were two, two good games between... Obviously, yeah. the two strongest teams in the in the league. Yeah, the two league games were were really tightly contested. As was they actually played each other in September as well in the the FAIU Cup, and Shamrock Rovers uh, lost that one to Exeter one nil on the day, and then they've won their one for one each in the league. And look at their the top two teams. I think there was only two points between them in the wind up. So there's going to be very little separating the sides again today. I would expect. Yeah, very little. And uh, standing here looking out, the the two sides look quite big, don't they? Physically, yeah. they look um, big, big physically lads. fit teams. Yeah. Okay, so just to take you through to Wexford Albion starting 11 today in goal number one Ben Halligan at right back Ben English number three left back it is Killian Toomey number four number five Alex Kirby and Tiernan Doyle will be a, a very strong central defence pairing uh, number six holding the midfield will be Shane Roach number seven expect to see him on the left wing will be Luke Farrell the captain today for the cup number eight um, a driving force of this Albion team would be Dara Maloney number nine on the right hand side will be Ryan Curran number ten a really lovely footballer is on all in on and number 11 uh, just an all action forward there an excellent player is, is Luke Murphy um, and Nicky will go through the Rovers lineup. Uh, number one is Will Hayes uh, Will is a big strong agile goalkeeper uh, number two Gary Kennedy number three Jamie Keeley who for me is absolutely outstanding left back yeah. Alan O'Connor and Shadrach are four and five uh, six is Dara Farrell, centre midfield. Uh, seven would be the, the classy Ben Rossiter. Lovely footballer is Ben. Eight is Dapo. Nine is Kyle Baker. Uh, ten, Aaron Dunn. And eleven is Miley Fortune. It's lovely to see Miley getting a start with the lads today. He's banging in goals there all year. Yeah, and look at just bringing up the bench there. Number 14, uh, Abin Morgan. Number 15, Joe Murna. 16, Rean Salmon. And 17, Dara Cumberland on the Western Albion bench. And... and the Shamrock Rovers subs are made up of number 13 Jakob Wasilowski uh, former Albion player himself number 14 Jason um, Ogwalika and number 15 Kieran Whiting um, Luke Boxwell I think number 12 Luke Boxwell is named 12, as well today. Luke Boxwell is named as well but I didn't see him uh, lining out there and walking out to the field Nicky so perhaps he's missing um, talented player as well Luke I mean he was a member of the county panel this year lovely player so 
But look at it, it's going to be an interesting game. Shamrock Rovers have been the top scorers in the youth Premier Division this year, and Wexford Albion the best defence. So we're going to we're going to have that kind of clash today. It's going to be a clash of the two, and to see who comes out on top. But it should be really really exciting game. Very little between these two sides. A lot of talented players on the field out there today. Yeah, um, I'd agree with you there, Parik. I, I'm looking forward to to seeing a few of the Albion lads I wouldn't have seen much of. I'd know, obviously, quite a lot of the Rovers lads. Yeah, and the early exchanges there, Rovers just forcing a throw in into the in the Albion third there. Good work from Aaron Dunn. Jamie, uh, Jamie might deliver a long throw in with this one, will he? Yeah, he's fond of the long throw, Jamie. It's a big weekend for the... Keeley family with Declan playing in the final last week for Ballymurn. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll hope that uh, the sun gets better luck today because Ballymurn were unfortunate there to lose out to a really hard-working Bree. A really good final last week, it has to be said, the Billy Brown Cup final. And a fantastic you know. crowd. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Look at the Saturday evening game, it, it worked really, really well. Um, let's hope we're, we're in store for a, a quality game today. Here's an early chance for Ooh. Rovers. Oh, just put over the bar there from Aaron Dunn. Uh, that's the first. That's the first chance of the game. Uh, I tell you, it'll be interesting to see how the, the early exchanges go. Just as the season has been going on, Shamrock Rovers have put a lot of games away early. You know what I mean? They they like to they like to press high and uh, attack um, and attack in numbers, and they have a lot of talented individuals can score goals. So Albion might have to weather an early storm here, Nicky. Yeah, definitely. Um, I I've seen the Rovers lads play. Um, quite often they do the start games very very well, and um, they try and turn the key early. Um, it's, it's obviously a feature of Ken's management. Yeah, and that's an Albion throw in there, um, just a broke down from the goal kick. Uh, Killian Toomey, who scored the second goal in the in the three 0 win in, in Wexford a couple of weeks ago, and the, the game between these two sides, um, really important game in, in determining the the destination of the league title. Um, the ball is broken down again. It's going to be another Albion throw in. Yeah, it looks like um, Rovers have just settled with a. A fairly standard 4-4-2, yeah. um, uh, even with a sweeper there, which you don't see too often anymore. No, no, not not in modern football, no. But look at, I mean, whatever they've been doing has obviously been working well for them. But um, it'll, it'll certainly be interesting to see how it, it goes in the progression, you know. Um, and there's a great ball in from Darren Maloney, Luke Farrell, tacking in the left wing, and a good defensive header from Jamie Keeley. And Luke and Gary Kennedy working hard on it there. Ben Rossler taking the ball, and he does well, but it's, it's gone out for a throw-in. So, nice little move by Albion there, opening a half an acre there. Yeah, uh, a good little movement, all right. Um, they got in around the back, but Jamie Keeley was covering quite quick. So. Yeah, as he does, Jamie yeah. is an excellent player. You know, he played with the county team this year. The back four of the county team this year is actually three of the Albion players and one. Okay, Jamie himself, so there's just Dapo now. This is one of the stars of the Rovers team, and he's got a lot of pace, and he's won a free kick there in a dangerous position. He took that ball from his own half. He did very well there, Nicky. He did very well, and I actually I'm, I'm happy to see probably Dapo out on the right wing because um, I think he gets boxed up when he's in the middle, so... As you've seen there, when he opens up his legs, um, he's very, very hard to keep up with. Yeah, yeah. So he, um, he, I think he, it might suit him. Yeah, he's got a lot of pace. Um, he can he can score, he can create. He's going to be dangerous in that position for sure, yeah. I'd agree with you there. But he did very well there. Yep. Uh, ben Rossler to take this free kick. Now, Rovers have a couple of big men inside in the box. Oh. And it's headed clear by Alex Kirby. But uh, Dapo has won the ball. Dangerous. Oh, and, uh, oh. offside. Aaron Dunn finishes, but he was in an offside position. So the goal won't stand. But again, Dapo looking very dangerous here early on, Nicky. Yeah, Dapo reacted quick. Um, but that's the second ball gone into the box by Albion, and they haven't really cleared it. There, Aaron Dunn had just straight into an offside position as Dapo was putting it across. And had he, had he held on just for a second there, perhaps that could have been a an early lead for Rovers here. Yeah, could well have been. And um, Adam, Adam um, reacted very, very quick to it. Yeah. Now, one all in on with a nice flick, but it's gone out for a throw in. I must have taken a deflection there because it's, a, it's an Albion throw in. It's a hard one to see from there. This is Mark's first cup final, is it? Patrick and the youths, anyway. Yeah, Mark, Mark, let's first cup final. I think Mark was a very good player himself and uh, has been refereeing youths most of the season. Um, due to work commitments, hasn't been available on Sundays as much, but he's a good referee, you know. Um, 
nice nice to have a good good strong team here for the occasion as well two, and it's two nice to see a, a very young I was foursome just to say, yeah a very young foursome uh, a lot of new referees to the branch but oh. look, they've been they've been doing well that's a nice ball in from Dapo Abadoy again Aaron Dunn and well closed down by Tiernan Doyle there and it's going to be a it's going to be a corner to Rovers again Dapo seems to be the one looking most dangerous so far here Nicky yeah definitely um, it looks like a ploy of Rovers to try and get the ball out towards him so um, Miley looks like he's on this set piece instead so um, Miley normally has a good a good delivery and it looks like he's going to try and swing this one out yep Certainly here in the opening few minutes, uh, Rovers have enjoyed most of the territory anyway. Uh, again, the big bodies in the box. Um, that's a good cross in. It's a bit too deep. Uh, Gary Kennedy keeps it alive and Shane Roach gets it away. Um, up to Luke Murphy. Now Luke will be the talisman of this Albion team, to be fair. A lot of running, a lot of work, high work rate in him. Um, and it's picked up by Kyle Baker. Uh, well done by Kyle Baker and Dara Farrell's ball just a Li little bit oh. too much on it, a bit of a spill there um, and the goalkeeper for Wexford Albion on Halligan takes that one comfortably I'm looking forward to seeing Luke today um, Parik, I, I seen him that day up in Galway I thought he was excellent for use in the under 18 yeah, yeah, inter yeah interleague, so. Luke, Luke is honest, he actually used to be a League of Ireland goalkeeper um, himself but he's he's uh, extremely fit and fast and he works hard and he's capable of a bit of magic now in fairness so he will lead that line with, with, with real intent for Albion now to be fair um, now the ball is just kind of uh, they're still both kind of finding their feet in the game I yeah. think Nicky you know there's no real kind of uh, consistent pattern of play just after emerging yet no you know? no Albion um, are s seemingly they're, they're uh, looking like a 4-3-3 but they haven't got their the three white guys are the two white guys in the front three um, no. pushed on, on yeah. just yet. So yeah, yeah they're, um, they're, they're settling, I suppose. Yeah, settling into the game, yeah. And hopefully, hopefully we'll see these two teams because they both can play a lovely, lovely football. I've seen them both this year a lot. Um, hopefully we'll see that ball moving soon. Um, it's a long throw. Luke Murphy to Luke Farrell. It was a nice little touch. Luke with a lovely little pass to Ben oh. to Darren Maloney and he just puts it too much on it there uh, over the top out for a goal kick uh, he was looking to find Ono Lin on there but a nice little bit of play from Albion there Nicky yeah they're, they're settled in that time alright it came from a long throw in and uh, Luke had a nice little flick off there so um, yeah it'll be interesting to see I a short kick out by Rovers Alan O'Connor fine defender plays it long um, little slip from Aaron Dunn Tiernan Doyle puts it out for a throw into Rovers Jamie Keeley might look to utilise the long throw in again. Yep, you're right there, Parry. Yeah, Jamie went for a long one again. Yeah, and a little uh, too long this time. Well shepherded by Alex Kirby, and Owen Halligan will take that ball. Um, yeah, I think um, from what I've seen of the Shamrock Rovers U team this year. They tend to go a little bit longer than what the Albion lads will go do, won't they? Yeah, you'll, you'll expect Albion to kind of build it up kind of with their more numbers in midfield. Rovers with the 4-4-2, they are direct and they, they try to get the wingers going then as well. So they, like when they get when they get on the ball, they they make they don't take their time. They, they get forward and they get forward quickly and they get the numbers up. Yeah. So yeah, you will you will you will see that and that kind of ends to or tends to between these two teams. We've seen a lot of really end-to-end -end games this year with lots of chances being created because Rovers do Rovers do go direct and they go direct quick, you know. Alan O'Connor with a, a long free kick in here. Alex Kirby with a good defensive header away. Uh, Gary Kennedy will keep it alive again. Kirby on all in on with a touch. Uh, Luke Farrell against Gary Kennedy here now. Uh, Luke the Albion captain today and Gary puts it out for a throw-in, well defended. Surprised to see Gary right back. He's played most of the year in, in centre, so small change maybe to have a plan for yeah I well know. i suppose look nicky i mean these two teams met probably a week and a half ago or just over um on a tuesday night in a the game that really decided the destination of the league and uh, they've obviously rovers assessed things and, and changed things around a little bit today uh to, to cope with albion because um albion came out on top that night yes that's a great ball by Dapo for Miley to run onto. Yeah, there's a lot of running in Miley. I really like this guy. I think he's a, a really lively player, you know. And he's done well there. That's it. He won the corner. Yeah. Um, uh, four rovers, you know. But he's a, he's a really hard-working player, Miley. Ah, uh, Miley. And he's, he's a lovely chap as well. Um, he works hard. He's, his uncle, Glenn, now would have been on the Oscar trainer panel with John Galkin. Yeah. He won yeah. a league title with Ajax yeah. there a couple this of weeks year, ago. Yeah, yeah. 
They're still celebrating it. <laughs> and why not? We were a long time without <laughs> soccer, so, That's it. you know. Make the most of it when we're back. Now it's, it's a big looping ball. Big, big ball in there again, and uh, Albion deal with it. It's going to be Luke Murphy on Jamie Keeley. He's going to look to turn him there. He's got a lot of pace, but so does Kyle Baker here, who made a great recovering run there. But the ball, ball wasn't good. Luke Murphy working hard on this there now against Alan O'Connor. Alan O'Connor does really, really well there, to be fair. Um, get that away. Yeah, Alan done well. And in fairness, it was a uh, great, great covering there by... Kyle, Kyle that time um, he was he covered a lot of ground to yeah. shut up shop. Yeah, Kyle jo joined Rovers from Fedder, you know, so he's um, he's a nice footballer as well. To be fair, you know, I've uh, been very impressed with him this year. Um, Luke Farr looking to get the flake. This will be a big tussle today. Shadrach and Luke Murphy. Um, Shadrach winning the free kick there, you know. But you'll see that a lot with Albion today. Luke Murphy he tends to do a lot of running up front and uh, tends to just kind of chase down those breaking balls, some of the sometimes hopeless runs, you know what I mean? But yeah. he makes he makes things happen from them, you know? And it's uh, it'll be key key for Albion today, just with the size of the pitch and stuff. Uh, there's there's a big gap between Luke and, and yeah. the midfield, it seems so far in this game. Nicky, he, yeah. That's what I was just about to say. He seems to be running a bit of a lone far up there on his own at the minute. Yeah. Um, I'm sure, um, I suppose, with a little bit of nerves, which they'll be hoping to be settling down now after the 13, 14 minutes yeah. in. Yeah, but um, yeah, he he does. He seems to be kind of left very isolated. Yeah, I'm sure Albion, uh, as uh, the game goes on, would like to get up. Yeah, they hope to see closer. that change for sure. Yeah, yeah. So the lads taking on a little bit of water, Maiden Rossiter. Yeah, it is warm out done. there today, and with the size of the pitch, it's gonna be a lot of running. You know, we could see some substitutes used today. I think, Nicky. Yeah, definitely. Even though there's not many on either on either panel. No, no, um, and it's interesting. Both teams, both of these teams had strong B teams. Actually, you know, I think. Uh, it was in the end two points, just one game in the difference between Albion and Rovers in the Premier Division, and it was the same with both of their B teams. But it was Shamrock Rovers who came out in in, yeah. in the Division Four in the youths, oh. and uh, Shamrock Rovers B team had a very good run in the cup as well. But you know, I think I think both clubs maybe are missing maybe you know having that stronger bench because they have had strong B teams this yes. year. You know, um, well I know um, the Shamrock Rovers management. Uh, they admitted to making a mistake with young Keane O'Connor. Yeah. Uh, Keane has been one of the standout players for him all year long, and it looked like he was going to Carlo in January, so yeah. he played in the Wexford Cup for the B team, and yeah. he cup-tied himself, so they've, they've regretted that si yeah. decision since yeah. then. He looked like he was moving to the League of Ireland, a really yeah. nice player, Keane. And it, yeah, he, he, he lost to the Rovers team today, to be fair, but look at um, their B team had a great cup run too. They, yeah, they, they, knocked out, they knocked out Gory Rangers, who are a Premier Division team, and they knocked out... Um, they knocked out Bridge Rovers, who would have been a really, or sorry, All Blacks, who would have been a really fine uh, Division yeah. One team, you know. And they brought and the A team to to one one nil win up in two one. or two one, sorry, yeah. up in Shamrock Rovers. Yeah, um, I was actually up at that, and um, yeah, and if you look, it at was the nip and took for a long yeah. time. If you look at the road to the final, that was that was the that was the toughest game this this Rovers team have faced oh. this year was against their own B team, you know. They, they were they were far more comfortable in all of their other cup fixtures. Um, it was their B team giving the biggest game, you know, the biggest test. Yeah. So you know, but look at yeah, the, the, they might regret not having Keane in them today, but like they have a lot of good players. Yeah. You know, so we'll see how it goes now. Um another long ball. Connor looking for the long ball again. Killian Toomey gets on that there. Um uh, well worked there by Miley. He's a hard working player, as we've said. Darren Maloney and himself now fighting for that ball Luke Farrell Luke Murphy coming here together Gary Kennedy in there as well tracking back for Rovers Luke Farrell looking to find Luke Murphy in space and Alan O'Connor sees it clear again you know to be fair having a sweeper there giving that extra yard to kind of cut, cut out that yeah. ball over the top for the speed of Luke Murphy Nicky in fairness to Alan he's probably been the best player on the pitch at the minute of sweeping there for Rovers yeah. I know the game is very very early but he just seems to be getting on it he's covering a lot of ground yeah. he's yeah. reading anything that Albion yeah. have he's, done he's so cutting, far he's, cutting so out, he's cut out most of the danger so yeah. far and Dara Farrell gives away a free kick there on Ono Linon um, in a dangerous enough area there for, for Albion you know both teams have some big men here who can attack this ball so I uh, see Tiernan Doyle and Killian Toomey making their way up, although, yeah, is Killian getting in there? He is, yeah. So Owen's going to swing in this free kick. Um, and this this might be the first real sight of goal for Albion if they can deliver a good ball, Nicky. Yeah, well, it's their first set piece that they can deliver. It's a little bit far out, maybe, but um, we'll see if he can, if he can deliver it. Yeah. 
Hina's not happy with something there on the line. Yeah, I think he wants an extra body back there. And it's a good ball in, to be oh, fair. Oh, great ball. Oh, and Tiernan Doyle misses that header. Uh, perhaps <laughs> Gary Kennedy's track and run. You know, I don't know, but um, that, was, that, was, that was a dangerous chance there. That was a great ball in from Ono Lin on, Nicky. Yeah. If he'd have stuck his head a little further out, he might have got a touch yeah, on it. Yeah, He could have made Will Hayes in the, the goal. The chance was there, yeah. He could have tested him there. Save. Long ball forward now. Aaron Dunn picking up the ball again. Uh, really good player, this Aaron Dunn as well, Nicky. Uh, I have to say, he was very uh, unfortunate not to score a spectacular goal with a bicycle kick that day up in Albion. And Luke Murphy was coming back from an offside position. Uh, the referee is seeing it there now, yeah. So it's going to be a free out to Rovers. Yeah, Aaron, in fairness to him, today um, Shamrock Rovers played against um, in the Leinster final. Um, he was excellent that day. He, yeah. um, so he was, and um, he was excellent that day. Yeah. He's, a, he's a big target up there, and he's a strong chap. He is, and and he he's can mix never it. he's never lacking work rate from what I've seen yeah. this year as well. A really, really nice player. Um, Luke Farrell with a good tackle, but Dapo gets it back, and he's running there. Ono Lin on Shane Roach. Shane gets on it there. He did, that's a good tackle there from Shane because I thought Dapo was away for a second there. You know. Yeah, uh, Shane. Shane looks like he's an all action type of guy the sleeves Com are combative I think yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, I seen him today they played Shamrock Rovers in, in Father Murphy Park and he was excellent that day and he, he was tackling everywhere because yeah. it was a, a greasy wet pitch yeah well oh, he does like he, is again involved. he liked it a bit too much there he gave away a free kick on Ben Rossiter there um, just uh, maybe having a word from Mark Lette Somebody who, who likes to get in the mix of it. Yeah, Just yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I think we'll see a really good battle today between Dapo Abadoy and himself. You know. Yeah. Um, he seems to be seems to be the one tasked with trying to stop him. Trying to pick him up. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe that's one of the reasons why Albion are lacking a little bit in midfield because he's kind of out on the wing. Yeah. A small bit. Yeah, that's a good ball that in. A great ben ball. Rossiter, Dara Farrell, Ben Rossiter, <laughs> and he puts it wide, and that was a chance for Rovers there, Nicky. Yeah, it was a great chance to drop to Ben. And Albion seemed to be struggling a little bit when the ball is um, put in the 18-yard area. At the All every time so far now. I snapped at yeah, it there, but... Uh, another good chance for Rovers though. Yep. That's a long kick from Owen Halligan. And Jamie Keeley with a powerful header there. Ben English puts it straight back up. And Dara Farrell winning. Now Albion have the ball. Ono Linon. Oh, and Luke Farrell in. combining well. Ono Linon trying to release Luke on the left. Gary Kennedy is in hot pursuit here. L Luke comes away with it. He did well there. Um, I had to be fair, Gary stayed with him. And Dara Farrell and Albion have got a corner. But a nice bit of football there Nicky. yeah in fairness to, to Luke that time he done very well it looked like Gary had um, won the ball off him but Luke took it back and yeah. um, won a corner for Albion and it's yeah. I think it's their first corner now so yep. anything to go by their last delivery it should be um, it should be yeah, good and the Rovers lads have to be prepared a, yeah really technically good player on all in on and like the deliveries from set pieces usually are very good so and I see Ben is after being took off of Doyle oh. and Killian Toomey trying to keep it alive away by Aaron Dunn, Ben English wins that tackle. Ono Linon puts it back oh. in the box. Dara Farrell heads it. Not quite clear, but enough, I think, for Rovers. And Ben Rossiter rushed that ball again, I think, there, Nicky, and puts it out for a throw-in. Yeah, he put it out. Maybe there wasn't a whole lot of communication, but um, both yeah. teams seem to be struggling with the ball going into the box. They haven't dealt with him yet. Yeah, um, yeah they're both looking a bit ropey back there, yeah. Luke Farrell now to Ono Linon. These two seem to be combining a bit for Albion, and that's well done by Ono Linon to find Dara Maloney. Dara looking for a long range Great strike. Shot. Oh. And the keeper. <laughs> keeper spilled that one there, Nicky, but he got away with it. He did spill it, and uh, he was all of 30 or 40 yards out. Yeah. Hey, I think he might. Um, normally, you'd like to see the keeper hold them or push them around the post. Yeah, yeah. So, no. but. Darren Maloney now, a uh, nice little pass there to Ono Linon, uh, who finds Ben English at right back. Ben is going to have to look long with this one. Luke Murphy and Shadrach back, and again, the ball over the top is going to be Gary Kennedy. 
or Lou Farrell to deal with it. It's, it's Gary Kennedy, and he got a touch on it, and it's corner kick again to Albion. Yeah. Albion starting to get a bit of a spell here, Nicky. They are. They're definitely getting a little bit of a spell now. They have a couple of set pieces. Um, they're turning turning um, their possession into a little bit more better yeah. possession. Yeah. They're not um, yeah. they're, finding they're, not they're finding a couple of passes. They're finding a couple of passes to the midfielder now, which is opening up so. a bit of space. There was a nice combination there again between Arnold and on and Darmaloni to Ben English and uh, his search and ball yeah. caused a bit of a problem there. And and the front three uh, from Albion seem to be able to push in kind of a little bit further yeah, up, they're, they're getting up closer. top. So yeah. yeah. Linon again with the corner Another kick here again. Ball. A nice swinging ball in. Shadrach winning a powerful header there. And Luke Murphy tried to get on. Gary Kennedy is going to try and find that ball. He's trying to find try and find Dapo there. Uh, Luke Farrell just puts it kind of back and, and it's cleared again by Rovers for uh, I think it's Aaron Dunn there chasing that one. And Aaron's giving away a cheap free kick there to Wexford Albion. Yeah, um, it, it seems to be a bit of a feature of um, the Shamrock Rovers lads there. Their first thought is to, to move it long and try to get Dapo on. And uh, I think now they might need to play a little bit through midfield maybe just yeah. to get just get control yeah. of the ball a little bit yeah. for, f but when for you've a few got, When you've got Ben Rossiter there, you know what I mean? You've, you've got the football there definitely. Yeah. So maybe try and settle in a bit, you know. And that long free kick was taken by Ono Linon, but the referee had judged with his arm, so it's going to be a free out now to Rovers. Alan O'Connor, who's been impressive so far, looks set to take this. So Again, Rovers look like they're going to go direct there by the position of their players, Nicky. Yeah, it and looks like uh, it. It's a good long it's ball. A long ball, ball. And, and they're hoping to break down something. Aaron Dunn has taken that well. Oh, and Dapo. Oh, he puts that one over the bar. Um, yeah, he was never in control coming onto that one, but Aaron Dunn done very well again. He he yeah. kept the ball in the in the mix there, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Ball roll out to Dapo. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Well, Dapo you know. was being put under pressure coming yeah. onto it. Yeah. So. Yeah. He was, you know. But you can see, like, with a bit of hesitancy between the two teams from the set pieces, Rovers are going long and. You know, they might fashion an opening out of it, you know. Definitely. And uh, I think this is going to be a really tight game today, so that's all it might take. Now no. Shadrach, uh, Dara Farrell, Luke Murphy. And Dara Farrell does well to take that ball off Luke Murphy, and he looks long again, and it's a uh, searching ball, and Kyle Baker might get on this. Tiernan Doyle does well to take that. Um, that's going to be a Shamrock Rovers throw-in. Yeah. Tiernan read it well. He covered in around the back there that time, and... And um, I'm won it. Yeah, I think Looks the, like Jamie's I think the Albion managers felt that was possibly their throw. I don't know, Nicky. Yeah. I think Jamie's going to go along with this one again. You know, it's a good weapon to have the long throw in. It, and and it, it must be a long throw in because yeah. that's a big pitch. Yeah, and it he's, is. He's it hitting is. the six yard box it with is, it. Yeah, no, I've seen Jamie in action this year. Yeah, he does have that long throw in his locker and he's a really excellent player, as you were saying earlier on, you know. Um, so it'll be, it'll be good to watch him today. Shadrach doing well there. Wins that tussle with Luke Murphy. Puts the long ball in. Tiernan Doyle gets something on it. And the keeper takes it. Shadrach um, had to do well there. Because if not, Luke, Luke was away. Luke yeah. was away. He, was, he would have been one-on-one -on -one with Alan there that time. Yeah. So Shadrach had to, had to deal long with long it. Ball. Jamie Keeley gets a header on it. Uh, finds Alan O'Connor. Again, clears it long, looking for Dapo. Shane Roach winning that one, though. Uh, Luke Murphy looking to react to the, the breaking ball. Dara Farrell takes it from him. Um, Another long ball by Rovers, and Miley's going to try and force something, is he? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, I think some appeals for a free there, or a penalty, I'm not sure, Nicky. I don't know there was much in it. Dapo. Roach wins it back from good defending there. Uh, Ono Linon finds. He's kind of surrounded by Rovers players at the minute. He's looking to. And he puts it out for a throw in under he pressure. He was left there. with no option there. All right. Yeah. They were crowded yeah. out by three or four Rovers. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it was a free or a penalty. Uh, you'd shout for it, but. <laughs> You'd yeah. feel very, very um, disappointed if it was given against. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. But the the long ball from Rovers again starting to cause. The game know. is to and fro, isn't it? Yeah. Albion will have a couple of minutes, and then Rovers will have their little yeah. bit as well. So oh, on, on the ball. Dar Farrell has done well to win that ball back there now. To be fair, he uh, surely has. And Aaron oh. Dunn is in an offside position. 
And it was a lovely finish. It was to be a fair, fantastic but, uh, finish. Yeah. It looked tight now, to <laughs> but, be honest. Uh, the flag, the flag was up early now, to be so, fair. So. so it looked tight. Yeah, so the flag was up before we, he took the shot. We won't look so. for a replay on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. But that's the first really bit of football the Rovers have played there. They actually yeah. got it down and made two or three passes. won the ball there. Um, find a nice pass and another lovely pass and, uh, and a lovely finish in the end. But uh, unfortunately for... Aaron Dunn, it was in an offside position. Yeah, in fairness um, to Dara, his long legs are coming in handy there. He's after yeah, robbing he's three or four balls there. That he he's probably a big physical have presence in the in the Rovers midfield, and he's a, he's a ball winner as well, you know. Yeah. Um, now he missed that header. As so big as he is, he missed that one. Luke Murphy looking to find Ryan Curran. Can Ryan make something happen here? Ryan puts in a good cross. Oh. Luke Murphy gets on the end of it, and that's a good chance for Albion. It goes wide in the end, but um. Nice football there, I have to say it was a good cross. Yeah, and fantastic uh, cross, but stuck it right. Alan O'Connor stood looking and they were, they were kind of questioning each other. Yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah. the opening was there, maybe Luke didn't expect it, you know, but no. he, was, he was between two players, but oh, and he's working and hard on Shadrach it, no? here. Shadrach looks like he's gotten away there, well done, good turn. Uh, Dar Maloney finds on all in on, nice bit of football. That's lovely there now. Dara, Luke M Murphy combining. Dara Maloney and Ben Rossiter battling hard here. And Gary Kennedy wins the ball, comes away. His clearance is closed down by Luke Farrell. It's going to be a goal kick to Rovers there. Nice little passage of play. We see that every now and again from Albion. I suppose the contrast, Nicky Albion, kind of 2-3-1-2s, two, nice little moves. Yeah. As, as opposed to Rovers, which are going very direct. But yeah. um, different styles, but... Completely you know, different styles. Very end to end. So, but um, yeah, it look at um, who who's to say which way is the best way to go? Uh, yeah. It's obviously a little bit the easier the on the eye. The most goals is it's the obviously a little yeah. easier on the eye to look at the passing, but yeah, each run and there's Sometimes another long it's not ball. Not as effective, and that ball is taken comfortably enough by own Halligan there in the Albion goal. Um, looks like Albion might go along themselves here now. The management encouraging the wingers to get forward in support of Luke Murphy. Shadrach there, two hands on the back. Silly free to give away, you know. The only thing is, it's a bit straight now, unless that chap who had the shot a few seconds ago was it? Um, Dar Maloney. Yeah. Dar Maloney, unless he decides to get on it. Because um, he was further out. Yeah, there seems around to be a little distance. wind behind him uh, as, they're, as they're facing into that Rovers goal. So, you know, he might fancy it. He may do. You know, because. Uh, Neither keeper's really been tested too much here so far, you know. I mean, Will Hayes had a save from distance from Dara that, you know, but that, that's been about it really for the goalkeeper. Yeah, no, collecting crosses, definitely, yeah. You know, so, so um, yeah. It is, it is Dara standing over it, Nicky. I think you're right. I think he's going to have a go. He, he looks like he is anyway. It's, it's fairly central, so there's not a whole lot. Bar he dinks it and one of the Albion lads try to run onto it, but, yeah. Um, so... Ah, sure, look, it's worth a chance, yeah. I think, anyway. A little bit far out, you know, but look at... Obviously, fancies that he's got a good strike from distance, this fella. And he puts he it low. Strange decision now on Nicky. Yeah, but um, the ball jumped and... Yeah, look, there was a runner in, uh, you know. It was a shot on target. Yeah. And Ben Rossiter in possession now for Rovers. Well won back by Darren Maloney. Jamie Keeley picking up possession. A nice little pass inside to Ben Rossiter. Finds that Jamie again, oh. and it rolls out for it. That's a shame. They were looking like they were building something there, Nicky, to be fair. Yeah, they did. They, they were moving the ball there, and um, Jamie just took his eye off it and went under his foot, which yeah. very probably unusual probably for Jamie. Ahead to what he was, yes. where he was going to put it. Next option. Yeah. So that's it. Ben English will take the throw in for Albion. Long throw, too. And. Oh. Dar Maloney winning that header. Dar Farrell in possession uh, to Kyle Baker for Rovers who finds Ben Rossiter now we're starting to see a bit of football from Rovers which is good to see Nicky yeah. uh, Ben Rossiter nice little turn inside pass to Jamie good bit of football here Dara Farrell yeah, uh, they're turns moving on all in on Ben Rossiter um, takes a flick there and kind of loses control and Dara Maloney just kind of puts it away from him really uh, Shadrach in possession as Rovers will look to build something again here now he finds Dapo at feet uh, who's dropping deep now to get on the ball Shane Roach not leaving alone and now Rovers it's kind of breaking down here Kyle Baker in possession now uh, as Rovers pick up the, the breaking ball again Ben English putting a tackle out for a corner kick a corner nice little bit of play from Shamrock Rovers yeah. that time really to, to move it yeah and um, 
I think if Dapo goes to the toilet today, Shane Roach is going to be standing beside him. He it hasn't looks left his side yet anyway, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, so yeah. Um, there's, he's a reason, there's a reason for it, Nicky. He is a very talented player. So, yeah. you know, it'll be a tough job on Shane so because no. you give you give Dapo a chance, he's gone, he'll take it, you know. Yeah, so. definitely. Well, he hasn't left his side as of yet. Um, <laughs> no, that's for I sure, yeah. I think they were nearly standing beside each other in the, in the line-up for the <laughs> yeah. national anthem. Yeah. So, but um, no, look, he's doing a great job on him as of yet. As Dapo started fairly bright, but yeah. he's out of the game for the last 10 or 15 minutes um, yeah, yeah. because of it. Yeah. Go ball in here again by Rovers. Ben Rossiter is up. He's falling down to Kyle Baker. And he just kind of tries to put it back in to nowhere, really. Uh, Albion looking to Luke Murphy long. Luke wins a free kick there, kind of backing himself into. I really like that from Luke. He yeah. sat back in. He just he bought that free there. Yeah. Um, and Albion needed it. Yeah. And yeah. it's intelligent, very intelligent centre forward play yeah. from a young lad. Do yeah. you know? Um, so that's. I yeah. really like that now. Yeah. Um, see a young lad doing something like that yeah yeah very clever free kick very talented sportsman luke he actually would have won the under 15 league of ireland shield with wexford fc back in the day as a goalkeeper oh and uh would have been the captain of last year's minor hurling team as well so he's, he's kind of a bit of an all-rounder you know ah good well it's good to see him on a soccer pitch absolutely so yeah um <laughs> So it is. This is uh, Alex Kirby standing over the free kick. It, it's allowed Albion a chance to get forward anyway. And he kind of punts a long one in there. Uh, they don't all in on. And it breaks down. Luke Murphy gets a shot away. And it's another shot for Albion. Uh, didn't really look to the threaten there now. But well done from yeah. Luke Murphy again. They didn't put too many players forward. They, let, they kept five behind the ball. And they had four in the box. And yeah. it seemed to work anyway because they found one of their own yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was Dara Farrell who won the ball. And now Miley is in. Oh, oh my goodness! I thought that was in Nicky. <laughs> um, yeah. A bit of a mix-up there all around. So I think you know, yeah. kind of uh, an Albion looked ahead, clear, came off the top, played in Miley Fortune. Surprised that it was coming to him, you know. Yeah. So. He And an Albion player comes across and so yeah. for a corner kick. So uh, Miley, Miley injured himself getting in there. Yeah, but yeah, the Albion lad was. Um, I hope he's not injured too much of the speed of track running onto him. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, the Albion keeper he didn't really move his feet a whole lot, did he? No, so there was there was a there was a just sense of confusion from both the attacker and defence there, Nicky. Yeah. You know. That's it. But um, it's breezy enough. Yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic, but it, it's it's it does on camera, yeah. But you can you can feel the breeze, all right, you know. Yeah. And there's a nice crowd again here today, Park. I actually do. I do see Luke Boxwell down there. We we're talking about him earlier on. He is on the bench for yeah. Shamrock Rovers. A dangerous player, Luke as well. There's goals in him, so um, he seems to be warming up just in case. Yeah, and in fairness, um. To to Luke, his father is, was manager of the Shamrock Rovers B team this year. Yeah, himself, and John so Fanning. Yeah, good job, I know. Uh, Luke is a Luke is a fine player, you know. Scored a couple of goals for the county youths this year as well, and great attitude. Yeah, a uh, nice young lad too. Miley is Miley is leaving the field here now. Not sure, Nicky, if he's going to make it back. And it's a good ball in. Dara Farrell gets a head on it and it's cleared. And Ben English looks to clear again. Not really clearing it though. And it's out for a, a Rovers throw in. And a still in the final third. Miley Fortune is making it back onto the field. You know, uh, he's, he's, he looks like he's limping a bit there, Nicky. Yeah, uh, Miley's made a hard stuff. It'll take a little bit more. He's played um, quite a lot of games this year with the men's team. Um, the, the Rovers... Um, B and C team, so yeah. he's well used to a little bit of um, <laughs> rough and tumble. So he's yeah. made a hard stuff yeah. in fairness. It is, to it him is always tough for youths to play so in the men's league, you know. But yeah, you know, I've seen him a few times this year. Really, really like the way he plays. He's a, he's a tough, good, good player, you know. So and very, very skillful. Yeah, very skillful. Yeah, a bit of a lull in the game at the minute. Yeah, that was a cross from Ben Rossiter, kind of to to nowhere as well, you know. Or both sides are struggling to to open each other up at the minute, really. You know, the ball seems to be kind of getting into the final thirds and then kind of breaking down, you know, without any real kind of threats. Now, uh, Ben Roster in possession, finding Alan O'Connor. Uh, Alan looks like he's going to go with a searching ball again. Um, and there is a kind of a 4v4 there. Uh, Dapo, Shane Roach. Shane Roach giving 
the referee giving a free kick in. Yeah, it looks like a free kick in, and which could be a very, very dangerous. Yeah, um, an ideal position. place so for a free yeah. kick. So um, he can go either side. He can go left or right to try and test the yeah. the goalkeeper. The big thing now is making sure that it hits the. Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't really see where the free came from. I, he must have pulled um, it back, Nicky. There so must have been a bit of a, a tug of a jersey or something so on a run in from where he's brought it back to because. Yeah. The but then again, Mark is is closer to him than we are. We're up here in the box, so. Yeah. That's it. Fairness to him. Um, there's a deep conversation between yeah. Dapo and Alan. So Alan Connor Alan and Dapo, Alan. yeah, to see who fancies this. Um, but it is, it is an ideal position, like you say, Nicky, to have a shot on goal. They're both right siders, so I'd have probably put Jamie over on it to conf try and confuse. Yeah. So with a left footer coming at it too. It looks like it's going to be Dapo, Nicky. Yeah, it does. He's making all the the shapes. And he puts it wide. Kind of curled it around the wall, looked to find the bottom corner there, but unfortunately he didn't get enough of a uh, bend on it, you know, and it's it's out for another Albion goal kick. It was disappointing, really, player of Dapo's ability. Um, yeah, you I would know, have expected a little bit more you, uh, you, out you of you it. Want to be hitting, you want to be hitting the target. Yeah, yeah. especially in that position. Um, I'm sure Dapo would be disappointed himself, but yeah. um, it, was, it was a great opportunity there for, for Rovers. Shane O'Connor coming back on. Or Shane Roach. Yeah, he's looking to come back in. He obviously needed a minute's treatment there. Uh, all over the top, Luke Murphy and Luke Farrell contesting with Gary Kennedy. It runs out for a Rovers throwing. The game's still really waiting to, to burst into life here, Nicky, really, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. ebbing and flowing, but hasn't really gotten going just yet. Now, Killian Toomey in possession for Albion, being pressed by Dara Farrell, who's doing, in fairness to Dara Farrell, he's put in a great shift there so far. He's winning a lot of ball for Shamrock Rovers he's covering an awful lot of ground isn't he um, yeah he's everywhere I think he yeah. was the furthest player forward there putting the press on for the centre midfielder and Long a very quick throw in yeah. by Gary yeah good throw in Miley looking to turn away from Alex Kirby wins the corner kick well done there now from Miley Fortune again and to be fair to him he's putting in a great there's a great great work rate coming in from there and he's getting a bit out of it like you know he's winning a lot of kind of free kicks and corner kicks there for a lot for of little scrappy positions. stuff yeah 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 that's just coming from work rate he looks to swing it in himself. Um, it's a high looping ball. The goalkeeper seemed to have spilled it, but he's got it again. And uh, Albion are away. And he's yep. looking long now for Luke Murphy. Luke takes a good touch. He's got Alan O'Connor stuck, or Kyle Baker, sorry, stuck to him here. Uh, he finds Ben English there with a pass. Uh, ben gets the head up. He's looking for the long one across to Luke Farrell. He puts it over there. Luke getting his head on it. And I think that's going to be a Rovers throw in, yeah. Yeah, Rovers throw in. And um, ben Ben English looks like a big athlete, is he? Yeah, he's yeah, a big strong. Yeah. Looks a big power. Yeah, very, lad. very quick. Yeah, real good athlete. So yeah, and a solid, solid defender as well. Yeah, and it um, was nice to see him trying to switch the switch to play that time from yeah from yeah, right to left. It was so it was a good ball across. Yeah. It was just well defended, really, to be fair. And good centre forward play there by Luke Murphy, you know, because yeah. up there again on his own and so just and having he's to doing put it in again such now. A yeah, he's done well there. Now he's popped a pass off there to Ryan Kern. Ryan looking to go inside. Uh, loses possession under pressure from two players there Jamie Keeley and Dara Farrell Ono Linon trying to win it back Ryan Kern now in possession again um, Ono Linon going to look for a pass here finds Luke Murphy um, Luke nobody in the box Shadrach, to Shadrach does well there and Dara Farrell gets it away again Dara Farrell doing really really well there um, Tiernan Doyle breaking the ball down Dapo looking to go one over the top I think that's going to be an offside free out there. I think Miley was just coming back from an offside position there. But again, it was a good header again from Tiernan Daw anyway. Um, we've seen plenty of examples of good defending here so far. Yeah, too. loads of good uh, defending. Um, in But he got the free, and they can build yeah. on it now. So yeah, I, um, yeah, I, th I think yeah, I think the linesman had the flag up for an offside. Yeah, oh, was a yeah. offside yeah. after, so I thought it was a free. Yeah. So a long one there from Alex Kirby, cleared by Shamrock Rovers. Shane Roach trying to keep it alive. Gary Kennedy puts it forward for Rovers. Killian Toomey clearing. Ono oh Linon getting ahead on it he under pressure from Ben Rossiter. He wins a free kick there. Um, yep. Yeah, one of those ones from Ben Rossiter. I mean, you got to go for the ball. You know, Owen got there first. You know. A little bit late, there's no complaint yeah. in it. It's a free and we they just and we move, move on. on. That's it. So they don't have to. 
It's still, if we said it a couple of times, it's still scrappy. It's scrappy, it's yeah. It's just waiting for o- off somebody the case, to... You know, two yeah. really talented teams just cancelling each other out at the minute, I think, Nicky, you know. And especially um, this is the fourth occasion they've played each other this yeah, year. Yeah, they know so each other so well, if yeah. If any of the managers... Um, yeah, there's going to be no surprises today. Yeah. Tiernan with a long ball in. Um, finds Dar Maloney there battling with Ben Rossiter. Gets his foot on it. The linesman's flag is up. I think it's a free out for the high foot, perhaps, Nicky, is it? Yeah, I necessarily wouldn't agree with it but um yeah look at it he's given the free out yeah that's i'm it. sure the rovers lads will be happy enough but then again there hasn't been any complaining by the albion lads either so no no and uh, maybe they've seen something we didn't yeah it's a good good sporting match between two sporting teams Kieran doyle miley again battling in the mix there for rovers ono linon uh wins the free kick there uh clever play by ono linon tiernan doyle takes a quick one to luke murphy luke there's not many options oh. ahead of him finds a great ball to luke farrell luke farrell it was in and it's a goal for albion what a goal, Nicky. An absolutely fantastic um, goal. Um, uh, Luke, Luke's pass there is as good as you'll see anywhere. Um, yeah, and the, free, the quick free kick from Tiernan Doyle yeah. as well. Yeah. Paul, yeah. you wouldn't see it in yeah. the League of Ireland, to yeah. be honest with well, you. Look, as um, we said, between both of these teams, Nicky, there's a lot of quality footballers and it's all it takes now to open this game up rovers are really going to have to come at them now but nice nice technique nice quick free kick there from Tiernan Doyle great take and great pass from Luke Murphy and Absolutely. the finish was just as good as well from Luke Farrell to be I fair will, I, mean. I was just about to say the finish was uh, it was equal um, like uh, the pass was great but if the finish doesn't match it the pass is not worth yeah, anything yeah, so yeah give Will um, his no chance really in the goal no, yeah. no um, good took bit it of on, play took there. it on the run you know got away from Gary Kennedy who has done really well on him so far. So yeah. good goal, you know, and, and, and now this game is going to come to life here, I think. Uh, Luke Murphy in possession again now for Albion. Gets the head up, uh, puts that pass kind of nowhere now. Alan O'Connor will take that and look to build something here for Rovers. But he's giving it straight back to Luke Murphy. Luke's got his head up. He's looking for Luke Farrell, but finds Gary Kennedy. Dar Farrell in possession with, with space in front of him in the midfield here. Um, Again, Rovers look long. Alex Kirby yeah. gets a head on it. Dapo winning the second header. Again, Alex Kirby gets it away. Just It is reverting to being a bit scrappy here at the minute. Luke Farrell, Dar Farrell. Uh, and Luke Farrell's pressing there. Dar Farrell puts that one out for a throw-in, perhaps. Yeah, Rovers look a there, Nicky, like the, There was three players behind him he could have gone for, you know. He just went to he put it forward, but put it nowhere. Yeah, he could have done, and he's just given the ball straight back to Wexford Albion. So um, yep. it's disappointing. Um for the Rovers lads but um, like to go back to the goal it was the first little bit of really exciting bit of football wasn't it yeah um, real real clear cut chance real yeah. and here's and another Darren chance Maloney puts that ball over the top Luke Murphy will chase everything down he's putting Alan O'Connor under pressure there Ryan Curran now looking to keep it alive for Albion and he puts the swinging ball in but Alan O'Connor again who's been playing very well today heads clear good work there from Ryan Curran minute mark there yeah. so uh, no um a good time and obviously at that time it changes everybody's team talk as well doesn't it, it you yeah. know so yeah. unless um, rovers can make one of these long balls count now and they are looking to get on the, on the breaking ball here again dapo um luke farrell a lot of they're really the real battle there shane roach coming away from it and shane roach wins the free kick i think the trail and leg of dapo kind of yeah, him there. Shane done well. There was three there. three lads around him, and yeah. um, he came out with the ball first, and then came out with the free. So um, it was an excellent l- um, bit of play. The Shamrock yeah. Rovers have to look at seeing can they get um, Ben Rossiter, um, Dapo, and Miley a little bit more into the game. I think um, definitely and, and Aaron Dunn, who, who started Aaron, bright yeah. but has gone quiet. Yeah, so, I so. but um, they definitely need to try and get a little bit more. Um, football, it's not yeah. really working. Just pumping it. No, long. Dara, Dara Farrell there with the, l- or sorry, Tiernan Doyle with the long ball. Uh, Alan O'Connor has put it out for a throw in. Jamie Keeley made his best effort to get there, but um, there was too much on it. I'll be now in no rush, of course, um, as we approach half time to take this throw in. They have a one goal lead. Ryan Curran throws it. Jamie Keeley gets a, a head on it. Dara Farrell coming away with this there. Goes long again. Uh, to the head of Ben English who puts it back forward Ben Rossiter here and Ono Lin on tussling for it and uh, Rovers come away with it Miley picking it up taking it inside nice touch again from, from Miley Fortune I think he's been one of Rovers leading players today uh, Tiernan Doyle with a good header away um, Ono Lin on 
I think Luke Murphy looks like being in an offside oh. position, but the Shad Shad Shadrack touch keeps him, brings him back into it, and oh, a oh. good defending there from Alan O'Connor. He's really had a good game today. That was a great tackle. Nicky. That was fantastic bit of defending. Um, Shadrack brought Luke back on uh, on side when he. Um, Alan O'Connor there to, Fantastic to down that shot because, you know, he had a run on it there. He was going to test the keeper. Yeah, and it came from Rovers giving the ball away again. Luke, or Miley Fortune, had a small bit more time yeah. than he thought, and he just kicked it. Yeah, and that's kicked it. Kicked it off. The keeper takes that <laughs> one there. Uh, Aaron Dunn kind of... A little bit unorthodox. Kind of tuck it under the chin <laughs> there. Yeah. So, um, but look at it. It's in his hands now. Yeah, and he goes long looking for the run of Luke Murphy here. Luke... Shadrach back to Will Hayes. Will Hayes finding a pass out now to Jamie Keeley. Uh, fine player, Jamie, looking along with it. Um, good ball, oh. Miley. Trying to get Dapo away. Dapo. Oh. oh, that's a great save. I think the referee is pulling him back for a free. I did think he kind of pulled him a little bit there, Nicky. He pulled him, but um, in fair, it was a great little flick by Miley to get Dapo in. Brilliant. Um, yeah. I can, you can see why the free was given Dapo. Yeah. Um, Probably yeah. caught Shane by the shoulder just yeah. to, to just give himself a Shane bit of room. Got, got himself in between Dapo yeah. on the ball. Dapo, you know, so. young lads and competitive and stuff. And uh, yeah. it was a good save by the keeper nonetheless. Good save, but um, it's something that Rovers can build on a little bit now. Yeah, um, yeah. Again, they're, they're finishing Miley involved in everything. They're doing well here. Miley Fortune, number 10. He's uh, he's having a really, really good game. Anything positive so that they're doing. Yeah, he's involved. The work rate is tireless from him, in fairness. You know, he's popping up on the left, on the right, through the middle. He's chasing things down. Yeah. He's doing a lot, you know. He is, I he think is. Rovers need more of it now across the field, really, you know. Yeah, they um, de definitely do. They yeah. have to start winning them little battles now. Um, yeah, they're gonna have, yeah. I'll be in maybe a little bit on top in the individual battles. Yeah. So, um, oh, Halligan looking long here. Ryan Curran missing the header. Jamie Keeley clearing. Darren Maloney, nice pass there to Ryan Curran. Ryan takes on, takes a pass. Jamie Keeley. Can he get by Kyle Baker as well? I don't know. Kyle, and good work from Ryan Curran there, to be fair, because he seemed to look to have lost the possession there, but uh, now it's a Shamrock Rovers throw-in, but um, you know they, they won't mind when you put it out for a throw-in in a position like that. It does slow things down a lot. Oh, Nicky. definitely, and it's just eating into the time yeah. um, as well, just coming on half-time. And in fairness to Ryan Cullen, he's grown into the game as Ryan the game yeah. has come on now. Or yeah, Ryan Curran, is, yeah. should I say. He's got a head so on that there. Uh, ben English putting it into the danger area again. Mm. Alan O'Connor... And gets a touch on it back to the goalkeeper. Will Hayes picks it up. Luke Murphy was searching again there. He, he's in and around all the danger yeah. areas. Will Hayes. And that one beats both the Albion and the Rovers players um, in midfield. Now Darren Maloney. Nice touch. And the referee blows half time. Um, yeah, really, really tight contested half there, Nicky. You know, the, the breakthrough came from that nice bit of quality from Albion. Um, not, not much in it. Not... Not the keeper's not really being tested too much here, I think. Very, very little in it. The one piece of really good play was was punished. Um, uh, it was was by far the best pa piece of play of yeah. the first half, yeah. and was um, about it, yeah. it scored. And that's what these games are might happen. Um, the same thing could happen in the Wexford Cup final tomorrow. The teams are so evenly contested; they know so yeah. much about each yeah. other. Um, it just takes that little yeah. bit. You, but, you often um, get that when you've got two really strong teams, and I mean these two have had an excellent season. I mean Shamrock Rovers made it to the final of the Leinster U Cup, which was a tremendous achievement, unfortunately lost out. And Wexford Albion made it all the way to the FAI Youth Cup quarter final and lost out to Ringman Rangers 4-3 after an incredible game down there. Yeah. And Ringman were beaten in the final 3-2 after extra time by Douglas. So, so you know, like th they're not too far away either team no, from, and from the, the main titles at youth level as well. Yeah, you know? definitely. And they'd also know each other um, through somewhere in school together. A lot of yeah. them have played county teams together. So, um, yeah. The yeah. the there's a personal there um, yeah. connection as well with a lot yeah. of them. So yeah. um, and they're the two top teams, and they've played each other in big games a few times this year. And you often find out when you've got the really talented teams that say canceling each other out in a lot of areas of the field. So yeah, um, we'll have to see how it unfolds in the second half. So it looks like Wexford Albion are out for a lap of honour. Uh, Wexford Albion's under twelve team are just coming out here now for the presentation of their league title, um, and that's that's what's going ahead here at the minute.
Uh, you're very welcome to join us here as we uh, look to start the second half. Uh, Shamrock Rovers and Wexford Albion in the Stano Youth Cup final. Uh, the score's 1-0 to Wexford Albion. The only real bit of quality, I think, so far, Nicky, in the game was that Albion goal. Other than that, it's been a very sort of scrappy affair. Just two teams just cancelling each other out all over the field. Yeah, I'd agree with you very much so. Um, standard probably wasn't as what we were expecting for the first half, but um, hopefully this half now will be a little bit better. Mm. Rover's going to have to find their way back into it. Ono Linon now taking the looking to find Luke Farrell on the left wing. Luke, the goal scorer, the captain today for Wexford Albion as well. And what a goal it was from the from the first half. Fantastic goal, all right. Ford um, official, for Karen Kelly sporting it. A mohawk, <laughs> look. <laughs> Serious haircut there, yeah. He's reliving his youth. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Farrell. It's great to see Kieran because he was a great yeah. soccer player in his yeah, day. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, you know, he won everything the in the people. Wexford League, yeah. didn't he? Um, yeah, and you need a good injection into the referees. And look at he's one who'll know the game. So good to see. Good yeah. to see. Ben Roster in possession for Shamrock Rovers. Finds a nice pass to feet there, which was good to see to Aaron Dunn, who's looking for Dapo. Dapo's looking to. Get on it and make something happen. Ben Rossiter in possession for Rovers. Back to Gary Kennedy. Gary kind of shunts his pass a little bit. Uh, Dar Maloney just putting it up into that area for Luke Murphy to, to chase down. They've gotten a lot of joy from the work rate of Luke Murphy alone, Albion, in the in the first half. Uh, Alan O'Connor puts it out for a throw-in. Yeah, um, I'd agree with you there, all right. Um, Luke is really hassling the, the whole lot. Of the the Rovers back line, isn't he? He's yeah. um, he's putting them yeah. all under that bit he, of pressure. He puts, in, he puts in the work rate of two players, Nicky. He was the same with the county team this year. You know, you can't fault him. He's he's got a brilliant attitude and a, you know a high level of fitness and works really hard. Yeah. Uh, Dar Farrell. And he does Ooh. a lot of the dirty work, doesn't he? he Do you does. know, not a lot of centre yeah. forwards are doing. Yeah. Like he, Dapo is every bit as talented and things like that, but he's not really doing the dirty work today. No, no. Um, and he hasn't got a whole lot of ball, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a result, you know, um, Will Hayes now, Albion, wasteful there in the throw, you know, just tossed it away really straight out for a goal kick. You don't like to see it as a coach. Uh, Will Hayes putting it along, Darren Maloney getting a head on it under pressure from Miley Fortune, and uh, it's resulting in a another potential long throw in here from Jamie Keeley and. Rovers will let, well they haven't quite found a clear cut chance from these like they've they've had a couple of dangerous situations in the box from these long throws, Nicky. Yeah, they have. Um but that was very early in the game. Albion seemed to have settled down um now and it yeah. is a long one by Jamie. Yeah, and Dara Farrell we'll getting a head on it. Uh clearance by Alex Kirby just the edge of the box. Miley just kinda skies that shot there. Back to Ben Ross at the edge of the box and he's put that one wide. And Ben may be rushing that shot, Nicky. Yeah. Still. Maybe just compose yourself a little bit more. You know, he's a talented player, that Could guy. Could have got the ball from out from underneath his feet. Yeah. Um, that time. Yeah. It looks like the two teams have just set back up to exactly how the first half finished. Yeah, no changes There's been here, no yeah. changes. Uh, a little bit disappointed. I probably would have liked to have seen Dapo maybe go in centre forward, see the Shane, follow him in there. Um, yeah. Uh, just try and drag the Albion lads around a little bit because um, yeah. after all it is Shamrock Rovers who need to score now um, yeah. so yeah. they have to try something yeah, yeah. that's a uh, Weissard Albion throw in there uh, two players contesting that and uh, Ben English will take it now for Albion we're still really waiting for this game to spring into life Nicky to be fair aren't we yeah we are yeah we and are uh, Ryan Curran and Jamie Keeley and Lions Man of Judges that has come off Jamie Keeley and uh, Albion will just take that territory. Yeah, definitely they'll take it, all right. And they're just building up along the line slowly yeah. there. Yeah, Ben so. English looking for Ono in on. Own under pressure from Dara Farrell. The physicality of Dara Farrell is winning a lot of ball for Shamrock Rovers, to be fair. And he's put in quite a good effort to it so far as well. Miley, fortune unlucky there now. And it's going to be another Albion throw in. Yeah, um, Owen seems to be picked up by Dara, and Dara is definitely yeah. winning the battle yeah. on that. Yeah. Um, yeah, Owen is the Albion nominee for the Youth Player of the Year in the Premier Division, like a really talented player. So, you know, it's kind of, kind of sort of similar with Dapo and Shane Roach there. They obviously the teams known each other so yes. well. Dara Farrell has clearly been tasked with you know, stopping them, them from playing because he, he does make them tick. You know, and one of the other nominees for the Player Premier Division Player of the Year, I think, is between the two is Jamie Keeley, who, uh, as we said before, is Really, really excellent player, you know. Yeah. He lovely left footed full back. Yeah. And that's the Darren and Owen are quite close again to each yeah. other, aren't yeah. they? And so uh 
Owen trying to get something out of it. Dara's strength kind of coming out on top there. And it's Dara who wins the, the goal kick, I Again. suppose, for Shamrock Rovers there. <coughs> but good work from both players there, you know. It's a, an interesting battle, you know. In fairness, it's been a good, honest game. Yeah. Um, there's been no crap, no play acting, no, no, no. Yeah. nothing like that. It's been a good, honest game yeah. so far. It has, yeah. So it's just, you know, the just hasn't quality sparked. that's potentially there we haven't seen because they are just cancelling each other out all over the field, I think. You know, so I think as the second half wears on, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Shamrock Rovers, I suppose, especially, will look to change something, you know, to try and open up this Albion team, you know. Um, Tiernan Doyle did well there under Aaron Dunn to kind of duck, duck that one and, and get possession back. Gary Kennedy keeps it alive again, gets it back in for Rovers. Tiernan Doyle again coming away with it for Albion. Ryan Curran uh, finds a pass to Alex Kirby, who's looking long to Luke Murphy. Uh, Shadrach is dropping. Yeah. Oh, Luke to Luke Farrell. Luke Farrell it ricochets back off Gary Kennedy, who thought he'd done enough. Luke and loses out to Gary Kennedy in the wind up. Good, good, determined defending there from Gary Kennedy, to be fair. Uh, ben English and Miley there now. And Kyle Baker picks up the loose ball, looks for the pass to Gary Kennedy. Gary Kennedy going long, cut out by Dara Maloney. Uh, Luke Farrell finds a pass to Ono Linon, who tries to release Luke Farrell in space on the left hand side. Luke Dara Farrell there again, covering so much ground, this guy. Um, wins the ball back and it's going to be a Rovers throw in deep there yeah he's really um, he really is covering a lot of ground in it he's going to need a little bit more support I think Dara Farrell isn't he um, yeah in, in yeah. that area um, yeah. Yeah, he's closing down a lot of things there defensively um, from that perspective he's done a lot of good work for Rovers here today uh, Dara Maloney um, his pass forward is taken by Ben Rossiter neither team can seem to find a pass here at the minute Luke Farrell with a great little slide tackle there in possession and the referee is going to give a free to Shamrock Rovers there how was yeah. that one for Nicky? I don't know um, you often I see didn't that, see a you? whole lot yeah. yeah. I think sometimes it's easier for the referee yeah, just to just for the blow a whistle thing, you know, and yeah. let him move on so yeah. Alan O'Connor punting it long maybe again we might for ask Rovers. one of the referees one of the days yeah and a header across the goal is going to be taken by Ono Halligan. No real threat there again. No. So, well, we're just getting it off of one of the referees here. He thinks it was given because he was holding the ball between his legs. That is fair so enough. Then, yeah. Thanks, Jimmy. That's our uh, our referee specialist here in the technical yeah, box yeah. here today. So um, that's it. Well, we've gone very high tech today. Yeah. The games. referees... Um, view of things as well yeah and Killian Toomey under pressure by Aaron Dunn uh, it's going to be another Wexford Albion throw in <coughs> couple of Rovers players warming up there I see Nicky yeah um, it looks like again Miley Fortune making things happen out of nothing there you have to give it to him he got a head on that there to, to get the ball back in possession for Rovers and make a situation now Dapo in possession here he's going to look oh that's a nice oh. nutmeg Shane Roach of course is there again and it's, an Al it's a Shamrock Rovers throw in yeah um, Albion are, dab are doubling up on Dapo um, yeah. every opportunity he can um, so they are um, and they're not giving him the space to get him in the first 5-10 minutes of the game yeah. but um, Gary looks like he's going to throw something long yeah himself, he's got so a long throw as well uh, we saw it in the first half um, he's putting it in yeah. there now and Darryl oh, Farrell gets something on. on it this is dangerous and it's beaten so. everybody and yeah. it'll be an Albion goal kick but that was a great header by Darryl Farrell to be fair he put it right up there in that area just he begging for someone to come onto it Jamie, and it was a certain goal Jamie Kiley was just after coming in a little bit too early um, which is unusual uh, for the ball the full back normally yeah. hangs and he just came a little bit early and yeah. uh, went over his head. Yeah. But um, this game could ch could kind of change like it did last week. It could come down to substitutions. The the Ballamore and um, Bree game changed when the subs were made last week. Yeah. Bree yeah. came into it um, a lot more. So the yeah. same could happen today. Yeah, look at him. Sure, there's, 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 there's a lot of ways this could go yet, you know. Dar Farrell again winning a header there. Um, beats on all in on. Ben English with a nice clearance there. Dar Maloney trying to find a pass. Jamie Keeley taking possession back for Rovers. Ono in on it's it's really chopping and changing all the time here. Luke Murphy yeah. in position again for Albion. Looks to put a ball into the area for Luke Farrell to get on to Alan O'Connor again, sweeping up. And uh, he's trying to find Dapo here, who's having a great battle today with Shane Roach. And um, that's gone out for uh, extra Albion throwing. 
that'll be interesting and Shane looks like he's really enjoying that battle doesn't he I think so, I think so yeah <laughs> he'd be much more so than that boy there, anyway yeah, yeah. So, um, which is good to see nice touch yeah. there by Miley and he's after opening up to that point no Shane again And uh, I think Mark Led is going to show Shane a card here. I think the studs were up on the tackle in. Look, it was a good, strong tackle. Um, it was um, it was a good, strong tackle. It's um, Miley was on the ball there, and Shane came through him all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at uh, he got the ball, but he got the man too, and the studs so were up. So it, yeah, I so think it's fair enough, you know. Free kick, and we yeah. move on. Yeah. So. As we said earlier on, it's can't take all the challenges out of the game. Yeah. So, but and then again, you don't want to see anybody getting injured yeah, either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked at um, one. Just little bit over the top. Yeah. Sure. Free kick. Yeah. And in a good position. So dangerous position now for Rovers. Yeah. yeah. Who? Um, I'm sure Ken will be hoping that Alan will um, whip this one in with a bit of pace. Yeah, because Dar Farrell is starting to dominate in the air as this game is going on. So I'm sure they're going to be looking for him, you know. He got that head on that throw in and he's winning most of the ball kind of going into the centre of the midfield there, you know. So yeah. he can go his left or his right, I'm not sure. Or they're sending out no, Jamie Keeley to swing it in with the left and in swing and free kick. So I know they're Shadrach is moving putting a lot well. of bodies in there. Shadrach is making his way up from centre half. Um, a big presence. I think he scored a goal in the game and in the Scardy this year. They're very um, static. It's yeah. the only thing. Yeah, they're easily being picked up there. Yeah. So we're, 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 we're still waiting. Referee's not happy with something. Yeah. Just get a bit of to calm down, you know. So Maybe that might put a bit of spark in the game and might lighten up the Rovers lads a little bit. Yeah. Um, but Jamie is getting ready to swing this now. Good ball in. Oh. And it's missed by everybody. Tiernan Doyle, I thought, it was going to get the head on it. Missed it. Ben Rossiter was flying in. Yeah. Couldn't um, quite get a touch on it. I thought it was a great ball in from Jamie Keeley, I have to say. It was a fantastic ball. And Aaron Dunn, I think, was the last one there that I don't think he believed he was going to win it, if you see him here. Yeah. Yeah, so Aaron Dunn. Yeah, he just missed it. And just missed maybe it. Ben Rossiter, the way he kind of flew into it, maybe he kind of caused him to take his eye off it or something. But yeah. what a ball in. Do you a know? fantastic begging, ball. Begging for someone to come on to it. And the right decision. And yeah. look, we're getting our first sub, Lucas. Uh, Luke Boxwell is coming in um, for Shamrock Rovers. They look to make a change here now. Uh, is the referee aware of it just yet? I'm not sure. No, I think they're going to have to wait for the next break and play Nicky. And um, yeah, Dar Maloney, Ono Linon trying to combine there. Uh, Dara Farrell using his strength again well there in the middle of the field. Looking to find a pass there, and he does. And Dapo, is he away? He's away, and... Uh, oh, the referee might have a decision to make now, will he? With Shane? Uh, Did he book him the first time? He booked him, yeah. I think he gave oh, him Oh, he yellow. has a bit of a decision yeah. now to, to make. Well, the, uh, the Rovers management are certainly very vocal there. Uh, quick succession. Hopefully he'll only give him a warning. Yeah. And give him another chance. Yeah, I mean oh, he's not. He didn't. He gave him the right card. So... Um, yeah, he gave him the right. Um, to be honest, uh, you never like to see a young lad getting sent off in a cup final. Um, I that boy was true, all right. He was true, but I just ran across the back. He ran him, across. You know? Looked I mean a letter of the law, maybe is a yellow card. But after only being booked, I think a, a stiff warning would have been suffice. I think. Yeah. Um, it's 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 a uh, sad to see a young lad. Yeah. Yeah, uh, always a shame to see Red Yeah, cards, and especially you know, Shane was doing like so well. Yeah, he was um, having an excellent game. He so really was, you know, but um, not really he could do there. I mean, he, no. he, he was following the course of the ball, but as you said, so letter of the law, I suppose maybe it is so uh, yellow, you know, but uh, in quick succession after the other one, and and he's gone. Just shows how quick games can change. Yeah, yeah. And a substitution Albion, now. Albion are, Albion are going to be really under pressure now. Now Luke Boxwell has made his way in for Kyle Baker. Kyle... A couple of good moments in the first half, but overall it was very quiet in the game, I think, Nicky. Yeah. Quite, uh, quite enough. Um, he was better defensively than he was going forward, I think. Mm. Um, he, he covered Jimmy um, Keeley a couple of times there um, yeah. when he was out of position, but he he done very little moving yeah. forward. And a very similar position for Jamie to deliver another box. Yeah, yeah, and look, he put in a great delivery the last time. And he's put it right in the mix oh. again. And offside by the linesman's flag is up, but... Um, uh, yeah, offside. Yeah. 
offside. It's a bad yeah. position to be getting caught offside in, isn't it? Um, with a free kick yeah. like that. Yeah, you shouldn't really, you know. Shouldn't, no. Um, um, look, we're just be approaching an hour then. mark on here, 30 minutes to go. Uh, still very much anybody's game here now. It'll be interesting to see what Albion do to counter uh, Shane Roach coming out of it, you know. Yeah. Because he was doing a lot of good work and closing down yeah. Dapo Abadoy, who, as we've said before, is a real talent. Uh, Ono Lin on Ben Roster battling there now. Luke Farrell gets a nice touch on that. Luke Murphy. Um, can, what, can, what can Albion fashion here now? Luke Murphy goes inside nice. Turns Shadrach well. And uh, kind of messy stuff there now. But Rovers <laughs> are right away with it. Yeah, messy enough. Anything wrong with it now. But, um, you know, just broke down. Uh, Ryan Kern in possession for Albion. Strong fella, Ryan. Um, and that's going to be a Rovers throw in. Both teams... Throughout this game, Nicky, really struggling to keep a hold of the ball for a long period of time, you know. Yeah, definitely. And that time, I think he just got outnumbered and, and Rovers yeah. just tried to break. And yeah. in fairness to Shadrach, he tried to make a pass, but it was just a poor yeah, pass. Back from Tiernan Doyle there, miscommunication. So. Miley Fortune, again, the work rate is causing things to happen for Rovers. It has yeah. been throughout this game. Uh, it's going to be a corner kick now to Shamrock Rovers. Let's see if he can make these advantages count for him now, you know. I think the... My, Miley to take it there, is it? Miley's going to swing yeah. it in again, it looks like, this time, yeah. Yeah, um, Yeah, the Albion managers were trained there for the last few minutes to get their team reconstructed. Yeah. Our free header. That's it's out Goal for kick. a goal kick. Uh, Dar Farrell again winning the header, but failing really to put it really where he needs to put it into the danger there, you know. Yeah. Kind of back across the goal. Um... I yeah, think got I it. think got to start going for goal here. I think Nicky. he was just happy you know. that he got his head onto it. He just knocked it back into the yeah. area. I see Killian Toomey now. Looks like he's the man who's been tasked with sticking with to Dapo. Sticking yeah. to Dapo. Yeah. So if that is the the case, that should look at it after opening up the whole left wing here or the whole right wing for Shamrock yeah. Rovers to attack down. Yeah. Um, so let's see see so if the the management can do something to kind of uh, take advantage of that. I suppose you know. Yeah. Um. On all in on getting on that there now. Uh, Ryan Karn can not keep it in play. Another Shamrock Rovers throwing. It's really been a game of the ball breaking and rolling out and freeze and throws. Really, you know. There's yep. been no real flow to it today. Barring small patches. Um. Now, Miley Fortune in possession and a good defensive piece of work there by Ben English on all in on rolls Ben Ing or Ben Rossiter and uh, wins the free kick for Albion they won't mind that you know they're going to they might struggle out in the heat there now with 10 men against 11 Nicky you know yeah they might long, do long time to go in this game they seem to have two or three intelligent players uh, as we spoke in the first half Luke um, yeah. Luke um, Murphy, Murphy picking up freeze and um, on now on, Owen yeah. picking up another one there yeah. and it just kills the momentum yeah. Uh, of rovers and uh, it won't allow them to try and build anything or try and put a bit of pressure on on uh, on anybody. So yeah. um, yeah, they'll be happy if they keep if the game keeps scrappy, they'll be happy. Yeah, uh, at ben this English stage now and Gary Kennedy and Luke Farrell again in in battle here on the left hand side. Luke looking to go inside him does does very well and a theatrical. <laughs> <laughs> Shadrach just stood him up there, there from Luke Murphy. Uh, in fairness, he didn't look for anything, though, did no, he? he just no, 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 no. It was, was good play by Luke Farrell to find yeah. him. Uh, but the ball really didn't didn't really fall right for him. Shadrach defended him well. Yeah. You know, fair, fair defending. He just and stood him uh, up. Yeah. So, Rovers are going long again with Will Hayes. Well, they're going to keep pumping the pressure on now. I don't think they're going to change what they've been doing yet, Nicky, you know. No. Uh, Dara Farrell again. Winning a good header there. Miley Fortune getting into a dangerous position. Good defended by Tiernan Doyle. Who is coming away with it. And he wins that ball really well. Um, the linesman has judged that to be a free kick. I didn't think it was a free, Nicky. No, 50-50. Oh, well there, yeah. 50-50. Um, good strong tackle on both sides. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know what Ken is looking for there. He was talking to the linesman. As far as I could see, it was a really good strong 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, to be honest, if I was in the well middle, I'd have said play on. Yeah, yeah. He came out, came out with the ball well, you know, and um, you know the ball was the ball was there. He, he went for the tackle. I thought he got the ball as well. Now look at the player needs treatment. Um, so look, the referee. The magic water decision, is anyway. still out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this day. Yeah. All the advances in medical treatment to still come out with the magic water, huh? <laughs> the water on the ankle, is it? Yeah. <laughs> See, you, Jimmy. Yeah. But again, it's going to be another 
dangerous position and the in swing and free surely from Jamie Keeley, which he's put them into good areas. Yeah, you know, it's the last a, two. He's a little bit further out this time, so he'll have to put a bit more on it. But um, since the sending off, Rovers have come into it a little bit. Yeah. But you'd expect that Albion yeah, are kind of sitting uh, with with yeah. their with their players in, in positions. But in and saying that, they haven't coughed up any opportunities either. No, they're still so relying on something from a free kick or a throw in as it's been really in the game. You know, they're not yeah. they're not opening them up. The Albion defence is standing strong, but you know, it's just it's just continued to be a really really sort of scrappy affair today. You know, Jamie Healy is going to swing this one in he swung in two lovely free kicks here so far in the last 10 minutes so Rover's going to hope to make this next one count oh. he puts that one right in on the goalkeeper I thought it was good delivery again Nick yeah good delivery get something on that you know they were a little bit lax a little small flick and that's yeah. it's gone either side yeah. and it's because it's so close to the goalkeeper it's hard for yeah, him he's gonna have no chance to react yeah. to it so. great pace on that one you know now Luke Murphy trying to close down Jamie Keeley coming away with the ball he finds Shadrach um, Rover's now maybe to start playing a little bit more football with the the, the extra space having the extra man and uh, that ball is a disappointing one from Rovers perspective yeah. straight into the goalkeeper but then um, you, know. you saw you spoke about it earlier on that you had three of um, the Albion back five in the under 18 yeah. or the back four should I say in yeah. the under 18s and they're dealing with everything that has gone yeah. into them so far anyway yeah. and, and Jamie Keeley was the other one you yeah know, so, so there's some excellent so defenders there yeah, the yeah. The, they seem confident and comfortable yeah. playing with each other there yeah. yeah they can play under pressure so. for sure you know but Look, they're really going to be under pressure, a man down as well, yeah. you know. Albion seem to be warming up a sub here. Um, might be looking to change something, I suppose. Going to be tired legs with 10 v 11 there for so long oh. to go. And I think that's going to be a free out. Miley left a little bit Miley, on the goalkeeper yeah, there yeah. at that time. Um, yeah. He was probably Look a little bit naughty. He was never going to get to it. He no. just ran into the keeper. No, but I think it's just the way he plays, Nicky. You know, he yeah. goes for everything. Um, and that's how he's done it all day. And, and look, at I think he's made it. Yeah. He made a few things happen for Albion today, you know what I mean? So and um, oh, for, Sorry, for Rovers. Yeah. For Rovers. And you look at it, it's playing right into Albion's hands again. If there's another break in play, the goalkeeper's down, the manager's yeah. strolling onto the pitch. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it suits us. Yeah. Probably a no little bit silly. From yeah. up again. I yeah. have to say, though, I think I think it's probably time for Rover, or Rovers to look at themselves there. Shadrach had the ball, acres of space, plenty of passing options available, went for the long ball. Straight into the goalkeeper, Nicky. Like, you yeah. know, I, I think especially with the extra man, if they want to wear them out, they're yeah. going to have to start playing football around them. And they're going to have to get that width into the game. Yeah. So, and the referees after showing a yellow to Miley, I think, was it? Or is it one of the Albion lads? So, uh, yeah, so somebody must have been remonstrating a bit strong down yeah. there. I don't know what they're trying to look for there. I mean, look at, yeah, they got their free kick. I don't think it was cardworthy. You know? Nah. So, nah. But, uh, and again, young lads, 17, 18, you know, yeah, look at it, it's a cup hard final, to deal with. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're going to be, emotions are going to run high, you know? Yeah. So, and the keeper's back up on his feet, which is a good thing anyway. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. By the looks of it, look, Shamrock he took, he Rovers. Look, to be fair, you know, but look, they got the free kick and fair enough. But again, <laughs> such a stop-start game, Nicky. Yeah. You know? So, it is. It is. So, um, yeah, I, th I think um, Albion will want to play it narrow and keep it uh, as narrow as possible where yeah, Rovers have to compact. try and get the width. Yeah. Uh, they're going to have to get their wider their wider players into it and, and try and create a little bit of 1v1s one one out on the wings. Yeah, and yeah they're going to have to try and run try Albion do down, you yeah. know, because so far, I mean, they've just been relying on hoping for something from one of these free kicks. Yeah. Um, or, or Do you know what I mean? They haven't opened them up. So they're going to have to start playing football. Yeah. I think, you know what I mean, Nicky? Like, they're, they're going direct all the time. And it's suiting Albion at the minute. At the minute, it's giving yeah. them more of a chance to cope with it, you know? Uh, Gary Kennedy winning that header there. Ono in on a Ben Rossiter competing. Uh, Killian Toomey in with now. Luke Boxwell looking to find oh. a pass now. Oh, that's a good bit of defending there from Alex Kirby. Nice one, too, with Luke Farrell. Luke Murphy, lovely flick. Shadrach picks it up. Ono in on. That's an Albion throw in. And that was yeah. actually a good bit of play by Albi in that time yeah. with 10, in fairness They've to done the... in patches, Nicky, you know. Yeah. There's been some nice little sort of triangles and stuff. Yeah. Luke Murphy tends to be involved. Alex on all in on Luke Farrell, those are players, yeah. Alex done very well that time, coming out with the ball. Yeah. Uh, had it under control, Found played pass. it, showed again for it, and um, then went straight yeah. back to his position. So. Yeah, no, on all in on, just turned that ball away, you know. This is where tired 
decisions might start coming into it now that's good defending from Ben English under pressure from Luke Boxwell if Luke had got away there he was in he, uh, and Luke is a good finisher Luke yeah he, he probably shied out with a little small bit that time I wouldn't blame him when you see Ben coming at him he looks yeah. like he's a big unit yeah so Alan O'Connor pumping it in Tiernan Doyle Dapo trying to keep it alive in a dangerous he got the ball in the box here Ben Rossiter oh oh, oh it's hit the post Aaron so Dunn hits the post Gets on the end of Ben Rossiter. I think it was a shot from Ben Rossiter. Uh, yeah, I um, don't think Ben was trying to pass there. No, um, Dapo kept that alive really well. He definitely done well. Ben snatched it the first one. It was going actually well wide, wasn't yeah, it? So yeah, yeah. And uh, Aaron with a bit of a flick header nearly. Yeah, unlucky. And nearly I mean, got back the in the That's the kind of game. break they need, you know. But um, Dapo Abadoy did very, very well there. Showed some class. Uh, found the pass. Ben snatched the first shot. Totally miss hit the second one, but yeah. it, it almost ended up in the goal from Aaron Dunn reacting quickly. It's the only time Dapo is actually after getting a small bit of space yeah. in yeah. the box because yeah. normally um, for the first um, 55 minutes or so until Shane yeah. was yeah. Um, sent off that he got that bit of space. Yeah. Owen Halligan with the kick. Dar Farrell again wins the header. No direction on it really. It's going to be an Albion throw in. No. Dominant in the air though. He's a big strong chap, isn't he? He is, he is. Um, he, he, and he's able to play a little bit. Yeah. Do you yeah. know, like um, for such a big tall. Yeah. Oh, he's he's winning the ball, so but winning yeah. it so that he can pass it out. Yeah. You know? No, he's, he's between been very good. Between himself and on there, and I think he's just out muscling Owen a lot. You know, and he's negating that kind of threat. Now Owen is working hard on him there. Yeah. Throw in is about as good as he could get out of it, but um, he was never getting away from Dara anyway, for sure. You know. No, yeah. and the two of them have just battled, and how many throws has Dara kind of won by yeah. physically just. Pushing Owen yeah. off and and yeah. um, kicking it off of him. Yeah. But Ben has started to come into the game a little bit for Shamrock Rovers. Ben Rossiter, the last couple of minutes, he'll have to try and find yeah. a few little pockets of space because he is yeah. a very talented footballer. Yeah. yeah. Today is a day that I think they really missed the likes of Keane O'Connor. You know, he's a lovely midfield player, I think, and uh, he can open teams up with nice football, you know what I mean? Yeah. Pass and play, you know, so uh, that's yeah. going to be a, a Rovers throw in. I don't think we'd uh, have any hope of catching up on how many throw-ins there's been today anyway, Nicky, because oh. it seems it's been out for a throw-in as much as it's been in for play, you know. Uh, Jamie, Keeley and the lads have been yeah the ball in their hands Busy. more than the goalkeepers. Yeah, that's a fact. Dar Farrell now taking his time here now looking to find Luke Boxwell, who's in an offside position. That's disappointing for Rovers, Nicky. Yeah. Um, well at least they tried to do what we've been speaking about. They, ball, they yeah. tried yeah. to get it out into yeah. a one v one situation yeah. that time. Yeah. Uh, Luke was just a little bit asleep and got caught offside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see Ken shouting to try and get a Dapo in over behind, but in fairness, Wexford Albion are defending very deep. There's not a whole lot of space no. for no. Dapo to get in. Like they're yeah. what? They're that's it. Twenty five like yards out. Even uh, all along yards. the cup run. Like Shamrock Rovers have been in free scoring form. They've racked up some big wins as we've seen on the road to the final, you know. And um But Albion have been very solid at the back today, to be fair, you know, and they haven't allowed any clear opening really. I mean Rovers are relying on something like this, but yeah. the goalkeeper will be happy if that's the ball coming in all day long, you know. Yeah. So yeah. We're uh, with you there. Seventy two minutes gone here. Um Rovers going to have to up the pressure. Looks like Shamrock Rovers are going to make another sub. Shadrach winning that header. Yeah, it looks like Jakob Wasilowski is going to come on. Former Wexford Albion player, Nicky. Former Wexford Albion lad. So he's in against his old club. And Mike. Yeah, yeah. Gary Kennedy looks to take the quick throw. Killian Toomey puts it out for another throw. Rovers won't mind that, you know. Really, they're just moving it all along there, you know. Yeah. And they're now building it. And really. Can he make something happen here now? He puts it out to Gary Kennedy. Good cross needed. Good cross comes almost in. No, just a little bit too much on the cross. Jamie Healy tries to put it back across, but it was just too deep for him really to get onto the end of. I've been really impressed by um, Rex Rabian's back four, to be honest with you. Um, they've kept that shape so well. Yeah. And sh it's obvious that they've the tightest defence in the league. Yeah. Um, the way they've been working together. Even that time, one of them moved out there and just... Uh, um, I think it was um, Tiernan just moved out and Alex just stepped straight in, in yeah. to cut it so yeah. they yeah, really are working in tandem yeah, look, they were a combination of the two centre backs for the county team they know each other very well Again, you never hear them from so the sideline they're constantly in communication you know so yeah. they do they do organise themselves well but look at their they're going to be tested here in these final <laughs> 20 yeah. minutes 
Um, and that's a free kick. That was a silly free to give away from Aaron. A bit of an obvious shoulder there on Ben English as the ball was coming to him, you know. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised Miley was took off for Jakob that time. Yeah, um, well, look at as we've said all along. So everything good from Rover's point of view coming forward has been coming just from him. Yeah, Do you it's know? just from his hustle and bustle and his industry. Yeah. Um, but... Um, yeah, yeah. Hope, well, maybe Jakob might bring something. Well, look, Jakob will work. He's strong. So He's potentially got goals in him as well, you know. Um, did he score He scored the winner yesterday, did you say? He did it? in the under-17 schools final, yeah. Well, he put his 2-0 up and, oh. and, and he scored. He got a goal back there. But, um, yeah, there's certainly goals in him, you know. Um, he's still youth next year, Jakob, but he's a big unit and his, his physical presence will be felt for sure, you know. Yeah, and against his former club, so. Yeah. Yeah, for definitely Dara Maloney now. It looked like a handball there. Ryan Current. No, he's still no play on here. anyway. Oh. And it's fallen to Ono Linon. He turns inside. Luke Farrell. What's Luke going to do here now? He scuffs a pass. That's disappointing from an Albion perspective. Darren Maloney picking up the loose ball again. Um, ono Linon. Ben English whipping it. Shadrach won't mind that. Gary Kennedy is going to take it and he's going to put it forward. And the danger is away from Rovers. Um, Albion, a nice bit of play there to open it up again, but it just broke down um, under not much pressure either, Nicky. No, no, uh, no. Oh, Luke will be, be in. A Jacob's having contribution. Luke Boxwell has scored, and it's a leveller. Um, the Rovers are level. The sub um, substitutions for touch, substitutions, I think. Yeah, yeah, so yeah Jacob with um, the nice little flick in. Luke Boxwell, as I said, he certainly can finish if he gets a chance. Puts it over the goalkeeper. A great finish. And it came on the back end of a nice little bit of play from Albion. Yeah. But um, a lovely uh, yeah. true ball by Jakob. Yeah, and a, and a very flick. good finish. A great flick a very good from finish. Jacob, yeah. And Luke Boxwell finishes that well. And it's 1-1. And game mm -hmm. on, Nicky. Uh, in fairness, the two goals have been took very, very well, haven't they? Yeah. Um, and a nice bit of play by Shamrock Rovers that time. Yeah. To get themselves back into it. Yeah. So yeah, it'll it's be an interesting now end to this now, won't there? What have we left? 15. 15 minutes so 15 minutes to go you know um the first so real time Rovers managed to to open up Albion with a chance there and Luke Boxwell with a, a sublime yeah. finish and another sub for Albion Reen yeah I think I think Ryan Kern has just worked really really hard yeah. and especially down to 10 men just to freshen it up Reen Salmon is coming in um for him yeah. Yeah, and it looks like Shamrock Rovers have made a little bit of a positional change, I think. Aaron Dunn has gone out into midfield, and yeah. Ben has ben Roster has moved a little bit further forward. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Dapo has also changed wings, so yeah. there's uh, changes everywhere now, so it might open up the game a bit. Could do, could do, yeah. Uh, long ball looking for Dapo, Killian Toomey and Dapo both missing it. Tiernan, well defended there, and that was nice defending. Ben English oh, what a ball. With the ball. He's all oh. He's in an offside position. Crack and finish. Absolutely fantastic finish. Um, but, um, what a ball. Um, what a ball from Ben English, yeah. What and a fantastic look, ball. Look at that one again there. So, um, a fantastic ball. Mm. Don't know. Yeah, marginal call. Marginal anyway. call, but then. But look, the flag was up early, but uh, great finish. A uh, fantastic finish, but. Um, what a fantastic ball. Yeah, but that's the, that's the thing. Even down to 10 men, Albion. They're going to have a chance in this game if they can get Luke Murphy away like they did there. I mean, that was a, that was that was a ball from the right back. Well, definitely, um, we you've seen it happen before. A team yep. with eleven players to start pressing, pushing forward yep. to get a little bit confident and um, to leave gaps at the back. Yeah. So Dar Farrell done very well. Dar oh, Farrell free kick. nudged in with was salmon free kick. It's soft, but Albion aren't going to mind. Took it quick. Luke Murphy, Tiernan Doyle, Albion looking to make something happen here again. Aaron Dunn. Falling to the ground there. Uh, Tiernan Doyle finds Ono Lin on. Owen trying to make something happen here. Combining now with Luke Murphy. That's a nice bit of football. Oh, yes. Back to Ono Lin on. Puts it across. Good defend. And I think Alan O'Connor again, Nicky. A corner kick from Wexford Albion. Took the free quick. Yep. Made um, some nice play there. And, you know. Yeah, they were very, they were awake. They moved yeah. it quick. They, they done it. Um, and for the first time today, you can feel the crowd starting again in. A little yeah. bit of um, an yeah. atmosphere. I think we're finally creating. Yes, yeah. that's it. So. Better late than never. Yeah. A great ball. Oh! Tiernan. Or ben English, I think. Yeah, Went the ben wrong direction, unfortunately, for him now. But um, Alex Kirby defends that well. Ben Rosser goes to ground. Ref is uh, not paying that much attention. Luke Farrell. Dapo coming back. Well played by Dapo. Good work rate there from him. Um, it's an Albion ball again. And again, Luke Murphy is offside. Uh, this time it's saved. Good save that time, but... Yeah. Um, 
That was um, that was a very good bit of defending by Alex Kirby because it was a two v two and yep. it was Dapo and Ben Rossiter. Yeah, he needed um, to win So it, yeah. he actually needed to do very well. Yeah. Um, I think if if Luke Murphy gives himself a yard. Yeah, he's getting away. He's anyway. going to get in there. Yeah. Um, I think he's after drif- drifting a little bit over onto yeah. Gary Kennedy, so he should be him for pace yeah. if he gives himself the yard. And yeah. it seems like um, Maloney and um, Ben English are looking to try and yeah. find that yeah. that cross ball. Yeah. Oh, great header! And runs into the hands of Owen Halligan there, and uh, Albion are going to try and get forward here again, uh, looking for Luke Murphy. Tireless work right out of Luke Murphy. Seven Shadrach battling each other here, Luke. Still in possession, two players on him, gets it across, good defensive header again, Alan O'Connor, he's had a great game today, that fella. Alan and has played well. Brilliant work there from Luke Murphy, Nicky. Yeah, Absolutely he is. Brilliant. Um, Under pressure from two players there. Yeah, he was, and there was a little bit of a clip at him there by, I'm not sure if it was Shedrack's boot or Gary's, but he, he just stood up, yep. held it, yep. which is nice to see sometimes lads will feel that clip and they'll go over, yep. but uh, it obviously wasn't enough to knock Luke over. But it has come to life a little bit now. And yep. another corner being delivered probably by Owen, I'd say. Um, his deliveries have been quite good today. Yeah, yeah, they've had a good delivery every time. And, I mean, Ben English got on the last one, but kind of went the wrong direction with it. So, Albion will be hoping for something here. Um, a ball in, and it beats everybody. And Aaron Dunn puts it over the top. They're going to look to get Shadrach away here, or, sorry, Dapo away. And um, runs back to the goalkeeper. Back to the goalkeeper and another little break in play. Yeah. Oh, oh my now goodness. great kick out by the and uh, by Owen Halligan in the Western Albion goal there uh, has put that one out for a throw in. Uh, Albion will be disappointed with that. I'd say so. Yeah. His kicking has been quite good all day. Yeah. yeah he just came across it yeah. at that time. The first time, yeah. Now Tiernan Doyle uh, coming away with the ball there for Albion. Finds Luke Farrell who under hits the pass and Dapo, that's all he kind of needs to make something happen. Gets across, good defensive header from Alex Kirby. Dar Farrell in possession. Trying to work his way into the box here and he has done. Oh. Great ball from Dara Farrell. It's gone right across the box. Luke Boxwell and the ball has gone out of play. I think Luke left it a bit long there to take a touch on it but yeah. brilliant play from Dara Farrell there. Fantastic bit of play um, from Dara. Um, he's grown as the game has gone on. Um, yeah. Obviously, that come with he's such a big physical chap, so yeah. um, he's well able to get around the pitch. Yeah. Gary Kennedy taking that Dapo now. Can he make something happen? Finds Jakob ah. who tries to find back it past the Dapo, but it's picked up by Tiernan Doyle, uh, Luke Farrell to own all in on. Albion looking to get forward now. Dara Maloney with the ball over the top. The goalkeeper that's going to run straight to the goalkeeper. Will Hayes there. Yeah, and Ken is telling Will to go route one with it. He's yeah. There's no messing about. And he puts it straight. Dar Maloney with a great work. take there now. That pressure coming on from Dara Farrell. Ben English on all in on. That's nice football again from Albion. That's lovely football. Yeah. Dar Maloney is away now. What can Albion do with this? He beats the tackle. He rises the challenge of Gary Kennedy well. Uh, Luke Farrell himself with a little one too. And Gary Kennedy is going to come away with that ball. Um, got himself back into a good position there. Um, in defence, Ch- and that's Killian Toomey and Ben Rosser and Ono Linon coming away with that ball. Um, nice football again. Albion finding the space now with ten men, which is, um, you know, uh, not what you'd expect, Nicky. No, they're they're um, in fairness, they're playing they're playing all the football, even with ten players. Yeah. Um, they're not panicking. They're they're picking their passes. Pass there, Ono Linon. Rovers seem to Murphy. be actually after getting tired. Yeah. So. Shadrach there has made a great, great defensive tackle. tackle. Ben English though picking up the ball and I think it's coming back to Luke Murphy again. And Gary Kennedy's under pressure from three there. Alan O'Connor gets it away again. Uh, looking for Dapo. Dapo oh, looking lovely. to get away. If he gets away, he's hard to catch. And uh, Dara Maloney with a nice touch. Finds Tiernan Doyle. Well defended that there from Albion. And Dara Farrell winning the ball back again. Dara Maloney looking now to find Luke Murphy. Shadrach getting ahead on it. Uh, Luke, oh Jesus, Luke Farrell is into the box. The referee is having none of it there now. I thought he might have called it back for the first one there because there was a bit of a kick on him um, yeah. from the fullback, I thought, uh, Nicky. Yeah, I definitely thought the first one was a free kick, all right. I can see he gave the advantage, yeah. but um, I thought he was going to call it back. The second yeah. one wasn't a penalty, but um, no, no, no. first one was definitely a free yeah. kick. Now we're approaching so. six minutes to go here in the Stano Youth Cup final. The scores 1-1 between Shamrock Rovers and Wexford Albion. Luke Boxwell 
The danger position for Shamrock Rovers. Rean Salmon working hard there. Jakub Wasilowski gets on it, strikes wide. He won it back. Maybe yeah. he could have slid Luke Boxwell in spun, at spun that on time. Well, but, um, but look, he, he wanted to go I for it himself. He, yeah. I think his mind made up barely. After scoring yesterday, he had full of confidence. So he, I don't think he even looked out left to, to Luke no. Boxwell that time. No. It was a combination, of course, that gave Rovers the equaliser. Now Dar Farrell again winning the header. Ben Rossiter in possession. Aaron Dunn. Searching ball again, looking to get it in behind. Ono on and Aaron Dunn now oh. battling for the ball. Aaron Dunn. Puts it back up there, and uh, Alex Kirby heads clear. Dapo looking to get away there now. Uh, Wexford Albion looking for a free kick there, Nicky. Yeah, um, um, Dapo probably played him intelligently. Yeah. He leaned in and yeah. um, probably squeezed. Um, I think it was Killian, was it, to me yeah. off the ball? Yeah. So oh. Good defensive play, but the Albion lads are starting to look tired too, Nicky. Yeah. Um, Luke Boxwell trying to put it back to Dapo. Tiernan and Doyle getting, trying to get it away. Dapo in possession here, looking dangerous. Strikes straight to the keeper. But uh, both teams, but starting to look a little bit tired now. It is a big pitch, particularly for Albion when you're down to ten men. I think um, it's massive. So, you know, massive big pitch um, yeah. for ten. For yeah, ten with, with with tired legs on lads. both sides. And you never know what's going to happen. It's a long draining day on the lads too. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's the cup final yeah. to build up to it uh, all week in school and things yeah. like that. So, um, yep, yeah, tired bodies, tired minds now. Maybe at this stage. Yeah, yeah. Jamie Healy getting possession going again here for Shamrock Rovers. Another long throw. Uh, Jakob winning that header. Ben Roster slips. Tiernan Doyle looking over the top. Alan O'Connor as he has done all day. Marshall's that one very well. And it's going to be an Albion throw in. Defended very well in that sweeper role, Alan O'Connor, today, Nicky. Yeah, he definitely has. Um, he's done everything nice and simple. He's covered the ground. Um, as we said earlier on, it's unusual to see somebody playing sweeper nowadays. Yeah, but yeah. He, he's, he's done it very well. He has, yeah. To play that position, you have to be able to read the game too, don't you? So yeah, yeah. And he's, he's cut out a lot of, a lot of ball. Now, he there he is there, again. He gets there again. And uh, that's going to be a, a goal kick. That that clearance was blocked down by substitute Rean Salmon. Yeah, we're just inside the last five minutes now. So um, anybody's game, Nicky. Anybody um, hey, gets a goal in this, it's going to be a massive, big body blow to either side, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. 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 Um, we're right in the last couple of minutes. The game has really only kicked off the last 20 minutes as well, hasn't it? it really, and the uh, Shamrock Rovers goal kind of brought it to life now, you know, and, and they both had chances since, you know, and, and uh, it's gotten a little bit more end to end, and the yeah. team's starting to tire now, but the, the numerical advantage for Shamrock Rovers could be telling. And Dapo, is he away here? Ben Rossiter has it, and it's blocked down somehow by Wexford Albion. They're not going to mind too much about how. Uh, no. Luke Boxwell. The fresh legs, can he make something happen here from that left wing? And it's cleared. Um, well defended by Albion. Ono oh no, on takes it. I think the referee has played advantage there. That was a that looked a, a rough tackle from Aaron Dunn. And uh, Luke Murphy now gets it for Albion. What's he going to do? He's running. He's running at this Rovers defence here. Jamie Keeley going to marshal him well, I think. And Albion have managed to get a corner out of that there. Interesting to see if the referee calls that back. That looked like a sore one on Owen. I don't think so. I think he's got to let it go, you know. No, I think. And, and Ben, that came from a great tackle from, I think it was Ben English there. And um, the counter-attack, um, yep. with a good bit of refereeing, he allowed advantage to be played. Yep. And now um, Albion have um, corner a kick, corner. Yep. So, um, yep. yeah, good bit of play all round there. Yeah. That yep. time. Yep. And good in fairness to... And officials. Yep. In fairness to Mark, he's had a good game. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So... Uh, so Unfortunately, anyway. you see a red card in the yeah. final, you know, but I mean, by the letter of the law, I think we said it was correct, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. You just don't like seeing anybody getting no. out in the, in the final. No. Uh, no. Not any day, but definitely not in the final for a young guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially. On on, looking to deliver the corner for Albion, and it's swinging out, and Darren Maloney is trying to get the control of it here. Killian Toomey working hard under the pressure of Gary Kennedy. I think that's uh, Albion ball. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the correct one, Nicky. Yeah, 100% yeah. it was an Albion yeah. throw-in. All right, um, Brendan was a little bit hesitant, but... Yeah, um, he's waiting on the referee there. Yeah. So um, 
now. Fairness. Oh, a little bit kind of uh, getting a little bit scrappy at the back there yeah. for both sides, you know. A little bit hairy oh, there. Going no no all in on uh, in possession here for Wexford Albion and uh, puts it out there. I think that's some tired legs starting to come into the, the yeah. decisions being made by the teams, Nicky, you know. Ah, that's it. And and nerves will come back into yeah. it at this stage because nobody wants to lose it now. Absolutely. After getting yeah. back into it and Albion after holding on to the lead yeah. for so long. Yeah. Um neither team would want to be yeah. making the mistake. Yeah. But oh and Killian to me no. and the ball is out for a throw. Right on the line there. And uh Rovers with a just a minute to go here in normal time. They're surely gonna push here now. You would think so, but they have nobody in the box at the minute. Yeah. Luke is just ben arriving Rossiter in. And Tiernan Doyle. Tiernan Doyle wins that battle. Ben English. He had a great game too, Nicky, hasn't he? Yeah. Good um, defender there. Just get it away. Yeah. This stage of the game. So you know, and that's what he did. Look at the, yeah, they're not going to score from where Jamie Keeley's going to take the, the throw in. Yeah. But um no, I've been very impressed with um Albion's two centre halves and um and the right full back. Uh, they've been They've been yeah. very, very steady. Yeah. And um, Ben Rossiter is down now, it looks like, with a bit of cramp. Um, as has yeah. Alan and Shadrach have done quite well. Yeah. They've had their hands full with Luke up there Absolutely. all day. Absolutely, yeah. Running there's loads them, yeah. of running and yeah. uh, things like that. So Yeah, yeah. Um, both, both defences, I think, probably on top in the game as yeah. a whole, you know. Just kind of a mo one moment of quality each, really. E yeah. And uh, yeah. There, that's where the goals came from. Yes. Um, so And also, we spoke about it the game last week. M changes were made. The subs... Yeah. Changed the game for um, final, for Bree yeah. in the Billy Brown yeah. and and Shamrock Rovers subs changed it today. Yeah, um, the two substitutes so combined for a um, lovely goal, you know. So um, and it just goes to show sometimes it's just two elevens cancelled each other out completely, and all yeah. it took was that just li somebody different coming yeah. in that the yeah. the managers may not have been expecting or something like that, yeah. or yeah. they hadn't given the the boys um, info on, and it just changed the game. Yeah, yeah. Look, there's just a lot of quality players, you know. Maybe a little bit of freshness. Yeah. Gave them the edge, you know. It was a lovely, it was a lovely uh, flick through by Jakob and a brilliant finish from Luke Boxwell, you know. To two very good goals scored yeah. today. Yeah, brilliant. Long throw in by Jamie Healy again. I think it's gone back out for another throw in, and uh, we're into a minute into added time now. Be interesting to see how long. I think if they were to add up all the stoppages for the ball, you know, for throwing, we'd, we'd be here for another 90 minutes. We'd be here for a while, yeah. <laughs> so, um, there's Boxwell in possession for Albion, trying to release Jakob Wasilowski. I think he just overhit the pass on Halligan. Won't mind collecting the ball at this stage of the game, anyway. Um, we're looking at poss the possibility here of going to extra time, of course. Um, Tired, tired bodies out there. They won't mind hearing that final whistle. No. Gary Kennedy did very well there now to win that header. Uh, Dara Farrell in possession. Finds Ben Rossiter. Can Rovers do something here now in the closing of this game? Dara Farrell trying to release Ben Rossiter. Well defended by Killian Toomey. Finds Luke Farrell, who's trying to take on Gary Kennedy. Wins the throw in. I guess that'll do for Albion at the moment. Yeah. Oh, it is hard. It's hard anyway, but it's very hard when you're down a player, you know, on all in on now. Oh, Gary Kennedy coming through there, winning the ball. Put the body on the line there. Oh. And Dapo is away. Could this be it? What great defending. Oh. Tiernan that time. Uh, threw himself uh, in there, Just Tiernan, absolutely yeah. threw himself. Yeah. That came from um, Gary Kennedy. He's, he's a tenacious little yeah. uh, full back that time. He threw himself into that tackle, yeah. won the ball. Showed courage and, and, and um, drove him forward. Yeah. Drove him on. So, um, and uh, a fantastic bit of defending by Tiernan that yeah. time. Yeah, because um, yeah. to be honest, you've been near enough banking on Dapo to hit the target. Yeah, to keep yeah. That's the first anyway, time he so really got away in a match. Yeah. You know? So, um, and to be honest with you, Albion would don't really deserve to lose it at this final death either, do they? No, um, no I'm having defended so, so well, yeah. you know. But so look, um, but that's the game. A dangerous corner here now for. Um, They'll have to defend Shamrock for another couple seconds. Yeah. Looks like Luke Boxwell is going to swing this one in. They'll hope to get. That's a good ball in. Dar oh, it's and a goal. That's a goal. Dara Farrell puts it away. And they're surely the winning of the game at this stage of it, Nicky. You would think so. Um, Dara, we've spoken about it. Dara has been getting 
a lot of free headers and he today that was the only one that yeah. got it on target but and I, I, I what a time to get yeah, it on target what a fantastic time uh, kind of through the keeper's legs you'll feel sorry for him not really having put a foot wrong in a match no. Albion um, oh what a time 93rd minute to score yeah and um, surely now a great um, a great ball in by Luke swung in around and in fairness to Dara he done well he done yeah. very well to get yeah. his head we, on it we and can't it was, it was we an can't have header. long left in this game here Tiernan Doyle picking up a, a yellow card there from the referee probably for some verbals I'm not sure Nicky if I'm wrong here now but I think this could be the first time either of these two teams has won the, the Wexford Youth Cup so um, we'll have a new definitely Shamrock Rovers said to have never won a, they were beaten in the final a couple of years ago by uh, well it's a long time a year ago it's it's Gory um, yeah, Gory Rangers yeah. 2010, so it's, it's 13 years ago. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. um, actually, Sean Wilds, who got man of the match that day, had a baby um, this week. So right. his first child. It's his birthday today as well, so Fair happy go. birthday and congratulations, Sean. Yeah. Gary Kennedy again. He's had a good game, Gary, at right back. You know, I mean, you were saying you were surprised to see him move, Nicky, but he has done well today. Now, at Ben Rossiter, is he away from Alex Kirby? Got bodies to aim for. Albion have had to throw their bodies forward in the hope of getting back into this. Luke Boxwell puts it straight to the goalkeeper there now. And really, this is going to be it, I'd say, this for has for Albion. to be it now. The yeah, Tiernan Doyle has gone up front. Aaron Dunn, Tiernan, Batlin, Ben Rossiter, Killian Toomey. Ah. <laughs> ben bought the free there. He bought it, yeah. Yeah, you know, he didn't really earn it. He bought it at that time. But yeah. Um, it looked, it looked just the two of them kind of going for it together, you know. But referee is giving so the free in, you know. But I'm sure Ken and Shamrock Rovers would be delighted that Ben used a little bit of intelligence there and bought it. And yep. um, all these, all these little breaks now are massive, you know. With so yep. little time remaining, I mean, we're we're deep into added time now, you know. But there's the, there's been so much of a breakage in play in this game, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's been a few subs made, but. The ball has been out for a throw-in alone so often, Nicky. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, so I don't know what's going to be left now, but we're surely approaching the end of this no, contest. Jason you know? is coming on now. Yeah. It looks like Ben Rossiter might be, might be coming. No, oh, the Albion lads are not overly happy. Ben is only strolling off. Yeah. I'm sure Mark will add on the time anyway. Yeah. Albion will have to get this now and, and counter attack as quick as they can, won't they? I have to get it and they're going to have to go direct, Nicky. Yeah, yeah. We can't have much time left here today. Uh, I think they're going to get a goal kick. Uh, strong shoulder there from Rean Salmon. Referee's looking uh, at his, his watch now. Yeah. So two balls really on the field. Down there trying to and, uh, yeah. <laughs> A volunteer there. He's a bit owned in the two to be a ball there's boy. A, there's a pitch invasion. <laughs> and uh, Owen Halligan goes long. And Dara Farrell, again, Morning. as he's done all throughout this game, winning in the air. Dominant, really good performance from him today. Now, uh, Tiernan and Doyle, they're all just, the Albion lads are just, they really have to just throw it all forward there, Nicky, really. I mean, yeah, they really uh, do. The fourth official has just put up his finger for four minutes. So I don't know if he means another four minutes or. Well, because we're in the sixth yeah. minute now, so... Yeah. Dapo Abadoy, is he going to get this cross in or is he going to go to the corner now at this stage of the game? Um, he's working well. Albion have won it back well, though. Now, they're going to have to make something happen, Albion. You know, uh. and that's a disappointing pass from Darren Maloney. Um, now, Rovers, if they can just keep possession at this stage of the game, Nicky, is what yep. they're going to have to try and do, you know? Well, they're going to have to do something yeah. that they haven't really done all game, <laughs> Yeah, is keep possession. Yeah. Um, but um, they have a man up, and this is where a little bit yeah. of movement off the ball, yeah. where they have to... I think, I think that, that red card did change the course yes. of the game slightly, Nicky, you know, I mean, the extra man advantage, you can see now in him, it's hard to see a way back for Albion because there's very tired bodies out there yeah. on the field now. Jakob showing his strength there, working well. Jacob Killian Toomey well. wins it back. Luke Farrell gets away from Luke Boxwell and uh, finds a pass, rides the tackle. Albion just have to throw it all up there. And they're trying to release Luke Murphy, maybe for one last sight of goal. He's battling Shadrach as they've had a good battle all day. Ref gives a free out. I think that's harsh, Nicky. Yeah, look, the two of them are battling. The two of them have been battling all day. Um, yeah. Shadrach had a, a hold of him and Luke yeah. had a hold and... Um, 
fifty fifty for me. Um, yeah, just let it's probably play. easier give a free out than freaking yeah. give a free yeah. in. But oh, yeah, just, didn't um, just play away. Let them on. Look at, I mean, that's so that's fair. You know, yep. I don't know Connor is going to. Ha- so but, um, relieve the pressure again for uh, now Sha- um, for Shamrock Rovers now Dapo Abadoy is free on the left they, they didn't seem to spot him there I kind of thought oh, I go Luke Boxwell is in and that's 3-1 and that is surely game over now Nicky yeah yeah another fantastic finish by Luke wasn't it um, yeah Albion yeah, had finish. sent all their bodies yeah. forward and yeah. Um, yeah and they were tired and were chasing the game and yeah. look uh, good ball in over the top. Luke Boxwell got a side of goal, and as says, as I said when he came on, if he gets a side of goal, he's a great finisher. Yeah. Uh, two great finishes from him today. Two. Um, I think he's two. Very clever. Clipped the post, did it? The two of them did. Yeah, yeah. So yeah but both times um, he's he's just lobbed the goalkeeper, you know. Yeah. Um, so. so, look, um, that is surely deciding the destination of the cup today. Um, it's so little time remaining. Yeah. You know. Um, and Sean McGrover's going to make another sub, the final sub, obviously. Yeah, Kieran is coming on now. It'll be interesting to see who Ken looks like he's taking off the full back, does he, Gary? Yeah. So um, he's his own nephew, Gary. Yeah. So I'll be in lining up there, kind of like a rugby formation here. Yeah, no? it looks like they're just going to charge I forward. You, I think you call it the hail mary, you know? Yeah. So and Albion are making a change here now as well. Yeah, John O'Connor coming in for Dara Maloney, and. Uh, Really, you can't see any way back for Albion at this stage of the game, Nicky. No, you know. no, they've thrown everything at it. Yeah, um, didn't give them credit, but I think th- I think when they went down to ten men, it was it was difficult. They held on well, but once Rovers got that goal, you know. Yeah. Um, and look at I think were we into the ninety third minute when when Rovers made it two one. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? And that seems a long time ago now. <laughs> the yeah, game's gone on so does. long. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're into a hundred minutes now. Jesus. So um. Oh, but it's been a, it's been a real contest, a really good contest. You can see why there was so little between them in the league. Yeah, there really hasn't been much in it today either. Do you know, um, now Dapo is away, and uh, he's he's bearing down on goal as he likes to do. He's got Jakob Wasilewski with him, oh, tackled tackle. by Luke Farrell. Dapo still got the ball. The goalkeeper, they're all in the mix. It's just getting messy looking now. Um, referee's given a free. Um, Surely approaching a full-time whistle at some stage, uh, <laughs> yeah. Nicky. We're into the eleventh minute of um, added time. Uh, we spoke too soon when we were talking about playing extra time. Yeah. So, um, but uh, I'd, I'd say it has to be up now any second. Yeah. Rain Salmon for Wester Albion. Finding Tiernan Doyle. Tiernan putting the cross in. And Shadrach winning a good defensive header there. Dara Farrell and the referee blows it up. And the champions of the Stano U Cup 21 22 are Shamrock Rovers after a really good contest today, Nicky. Maybe not the football we expected, but. No, a real um, it was, it was. And as we spoke of several times throughout the contest, two teams were so evenly matched. Um, and it goes to show at the end of the year 1 1 league, 1 1 the cup. Yeah, you know, so um, and and both of them could have gone either way. Yeah, you know, you know, so very little between it, both sides. Um, sending off obviously had a big bearing in the game. Um, it created that bit of space that Rovers needed. Yeah, and um, and uh, and look what they got over the line. Shamrock Rovers are going to be absolutely thrilled. Yeah, it's their first Wexford Cup. Um, so um, they've long first first time they've won the first U time Cup, yeah. yeah Wexford U Cup. Um, so. They'll um they'll be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, and they'll be delighted and um yeah, it was a great a day. Break, hard break for Albion, but look, over the course of the season they've been the two standout youth teams. Albion they won the, the Premier Division in youths last weekend with a sort of a Sergio Aguero moment there, yeah. goal in injury time to beat Barnhound three two. It looked like it was going to a playoff where these two would have been meeting for five times this year. And uh today look they had the lead. Um quality goal in the first half. A nice bit of quality from Rovers, though, to equalise. And uh, as the game wore on, um, Dara Farrell, who we'd been saying was winning all of the aerial duels, he got his head on the corner. Uh, cruel for the goalkeeper, kind of went through his legs. And um, that was the decider, you know. But um, a good game, could have gone either way. And um, congratulations to Shamrock Rovers and commiserations to Wester Albion, two, two really fine sides, you know, Nicky. Yep. So that's exactly it. Uh, there's not a whole lot... Um more uh, I can add to it, you, you summed it yeah. up there, 
obviously. And um, yeah, uh, we're going to have our presentation here now. And Dave Devricks from the People newspaper usually picks out the man of the match in these finals. So a tough one for uh, it will, uh Yeah, I will. Um, personally, I probably thought Dara O'Connor or Dara Farrell was yeah probably the best um, on show for Rovers. Yeah. Um. So that was that. Yeah. So, um, and uh, I obviously I spoke throughout the game. I thought the back three, uh, Wexford Albion, well, uh, the, the, the back four, back fair four in fair fairness yeah. were were excellent. Luke as well. So you you could give it to any of them. Yeah. But um, if I w if it's not my decision, but if I was to pick any of them, I probably would have went with um, with um, Dar Farrell myself to be honest. Yeah. Look at I mean on the balance of play he won so much ball he scored a decisive goal yeah. I'd agree with you yeah. so that's it so that's, that's the way it is mm. he'll be back in the White House this evening now for cocktail sausages and chicken goujons okay. yep um, it's f Fantastic facility down here, isn't it? Absolutely, uh, it's, it's lovely to have all our finals here, Nikki. I mean, it is it is the occasion, it is the place for them, and a great great occasion for it today. Probably not the football we expected, but a real battle, you know. Yeah. Um, but the pitch was in great condition. They were able to play football, you know. And yeah. uh, at times we saw it between the two teams. At times we saw nice moments of quality, you know. Yeah. Um, especially for the goals, the the first two goals in the game, particularly, you know. Yeah, I agree with you a hundred percent. Um. And as you said, like it's it's a facility second to none down that we have here in Wexford, <laughs> and um, it just adds for the whole atmosphere and everything. Um, lads are getting in trouble now putting up the signs there. Yeah. So um, yeah, they'll all be delighted. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us, and I'm sure be sure to join in tomorrow morning for the. Neil O'Sullivan Cup final between uh, Shelburne United and All Blacks, and that's going to be a, a really well contested um, final itself, to that one. and a, I'm I'm sure a big attendance. And then the main, the main one, the the Crane and Crane Insurance Wexford Cup between North End United and Gory Rangers. Nicky, you'll be doing the commentary on the two games, so you're you're certainly in in for a treat tomorrow on a busy day. But uh, should be two two good games, you know, and and uh, be sure to join us here on the. The Wexford Football League and the Steam Team. All right. Thank you.
never thought, I never thought he'd be up to being so. Hello, Karen. I'll be in. Not this. Kirby. Dara Corbin. John O'Connor. All in on. Big well done. I don't want to say big well done to the boys here today. We played excellent throughout the whole Big thanks to Matthew, Jamie, and Davey, and of course all the parents and the officials that rip us over the, the whole year. So, all right, big well done.
Series might have worked throughout the, throughout the years for us. I thank Lee as well, special shout for the goalkeeping coach. Did not not hear, but sure. <laughs> Finally, I thank Albion to give us a serious run all through the league and got ahead of us. And the whole way through the game, the best game we've had all year, and the Pope to us the whole way through it. I just want to say thanks for the whole game, lads. Well done. Oh, 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 oh,